Hi guys, welcome back. This is Matt Chat, episode 456, featuring a look at the game Wasteland 3. Uh, now this game's been getting a lot of hype. I've had a very hard time trying to stay away because I wanted to play it uh, completely uh, unbiased. I didn't want to see any reviews or anything before I went into this. I just want, wanted to play it cold, uh, then record it and give you, uh, you know, record this so you could see what my experience was like for the first uh, few hours of the game. Uh, now my plan is to release this video, the unboxing, uh, that uh, playthrough of the first few hours, give you my sort of initial review, and then come back at some later date, hopefully within a few weeks after I've completed the game, and give you a more comprehensive look, you know, at the, at the big picture with the story and the narrative and all that. But I think there's plenty enough to go on here, uh, especially if you're trying to decide whether this game is something you're, you'd be interested in, you just want to take a look at it, but you don't want the, uh, you know, the big spoilers or anything like that. Uh, that's why I made this video. Anyway, we've got a lot to cover here, so without further ado, here is Wasteland 3. All right, folks, so here it is. This is the this massive <laughs> uh, box. I haven't seen anything quite like it. I don't know what's all in here. It's been long enough since I ordered this. I don't even remember uh, what all is supposed to be in this, but uh, it's really exciting. This is the Wasteland 3 Collector's Edition uh, box. Um, I don't know what else to say about the box <laughs> other than, than it does say Wasteland 3 on it. So now let's go ahead and open this and see what kind of goodies await inside. You know, I did scan, run my uh, Geiger counter over this before just to be sure. And apparently there's very uh, low limits of radiation coming from this. Maybe uh, enough to cause sterilization, but probably uh, you're probably going to be okay. Uh, let's go ahead. There we go. Final incision <laughs> this is like better than christmas here wow uh, so look inside there you can see the what looks like a giant wasteland three box looks sort of like a crate with a rope around it let's pull it out Ugh. wow <laughs> i can i just wow i'm gonna try to show you this let me move the camera here so you can get a good look at what I'm looking at here, you can see they've got the, they made this box look like a, like a packing crate from the game. Let's see. Greetings from Aspen, Colorado. Taking off these little corner pieces. Very well packed. I don't, there was a little ding on the cardboard box, but I don't see any on the interior box. There's <laughs> little postcards. Greetings from the Garden of the Gods. Wow, really nice. You know, I haven't even opened the main box yet, already excited. I'm, I always think it's a good sign. You know, some people, uh, they pay no attention to the packaging. But I always think that if, you know, if you see a game where they've taken the, you know, the pains to put together a nice, attractive package, uh, and who knows what else is in here, it's probably a sign that they take their job as a game maker's uh, very seriously, it's something they enjoy. They see it as an art form, you know, instead of just a way to make a quick buck uh, or just a, a day job. So it's, I'm, I'm feeling really good about this so far. I love this box. You know, the box itself is, of course, a collectible item. I want to do, uh, <laughs> you know, I need to get a bigger place here. I'm starting to uh, run out of room. But it's a, a problem that I like to have. Just taking off, it looks like it. Cutting these uh, little tapes off the bottom. And then I think this will just shimmy on up. Let a shimmy. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is amazing. Look at this. So inside the uh, the top flap, we have this little mixed, it says a mixtape. A little bitty cassette. Looks like something you would plug into Soundwave uh, Transformer. What is this? I'm not sh quite sure what I'm looking at here. Is this a little... A little pocket tool. Taking it out of the uh, wrapping here. Let's see. So we have. What is that? Oh, it's a little USB uh, connection thing. So I guess this is like the an MP3 version of the soundtrack mixtape. That is really cute. <laughs> oh, really looks neat. Now let's see what else we have here. It's like a keychain, Wasteland Rangers on it. 
nice in the design. Wow. Man, these are some glorious back ends. Look at that. Really heavy, heavy duty keychain here. Looks great. Wasteland Rangers, really good design on this. It's, you know, I don't know how well you can make this out, but it's nicely three dimensional. It's not just a flat uh, keychain on the front, at least. Really, really nice keychain. What do your keychains look like, by the way? I noticed the. It seems like all the newer cars, they give you these massive key fobs. <laughs> you feel like you need a fanny pack or something just to carry your keys. Ah, uh, and let's see what we have here. A dog tag, looks like. Let's see how to get this one open. You know, I wonder what the folks putting all this together at the factory thought was going on with all this. <laughs> so there you go. Really nice. Everything in here so far has been like really heavy. You know, heavy duty. You know, I've gotten some like collectible dog tags and things before that really flimsy. You know, you could just easily bend them. Uh, that's like, I mean, it's like a challenge coin. Really heavy, heavy duty uh, dog tag there. It says Hernan S Snake Vargas on it. Date of birth, 25 June, 2047, O negative. Ah, so you get Snake Vargas' uh, dog tags here. It says Wasteland 3 on 1 and In Exile on the back. So that is really awesome. Yeah, just really, really happy with this. I haven't even got into the main part of this yet, but just these, these pack-ins alone, you could probably tell it's just making me happy. <laughs> yeah, I just I love stuff like this. It's great uh, collectibles. Got to set this aside for now. Well, how do I? Let's see. I'm not sure what's happening. Oh, I guess it opens up like this. Okay, so we holy. Holy, look at that. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this. So you open up the box, and the whole thing spreads out into this... Oh, this is going on the shelf somewhere, guys. This is definitely going on the shelf. Look at the artwork on that. Got the mushroom cloud. Just beautiful stuff. And the, the bot even like the bottom of this is like felt, velvet... <laughs> Man, they really went all out on this collector's edition. I don't think I've ever been this impressed with a collector's edition of anything. Okay, let's continue. It looks like we've got a book here, Wasteland Survival Guide Classified. Approved field manual. So let's go ahead and take a peek at that. Let's see if I can get her open. I'll have to bring out the... Uh, the blade again. Be very careful, of course. That'd be terrible, wouldn't it, to have a big gash in your <laughs> collector's edition? You know, some people probably wouldn't even want to open this. I, I never understood that myself. I mean, who are you saving it for? You only live once. You probably enjoy this more than anybody else would. It actually feels like a, like a cloth or leather bound. Maybe that is... You know, it's, it even smells good. Oh, it's signed. Property of me, Scotchmo. Uh, I don't know if that's a real signature or not, but looks good. Wow, it's in color. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, this is how it should be done, man. Would you look at that? I'm in a book. Oh, I see. So the little printing is the Scotchmo here. So it's kind of in character. Oh, man. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to set this aside so I can look at it as I'm playing the game. And let's see, we're not even done yet. Here is a, it looks like a cloth map. I have to have one of those, right? Let's get this one open. Looks like there's a little, oh, there we go. Ah, look at that. You know, the tradition of these cloth maps, of course, goes back to Lord British, who got the idea, believe it or not, from a movie called Time Bandits. You know, they're not, you know some people really love that movie. It's kind of slapstick for me. Uh, but that's where this impetus comes from. Apparently they have a cloth map in there. Uh, but look at this, Map of Colorado. Scorpitron sighting. So that's pretty neat. So it looks like a, like they've drawn on the... The cloth map. 
make it a little bit more authentic looking. So that is really cool. I guess, you know, sometimes you want to set these aside as well because they might have clues. Okay, then we have another book. Ah, this is a hard, another hardbound book, The Art of Wasteland 3. Let's get it open. You know, this must be very fulfilling for the artist to see their artwork, not just in the game, but also in a printed collector's book where they can really control how it looks and make sure that everybody's seeing the same image, not a scaled down or <laughs> expanded version. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but this is a pretty funny picture. There's a little letter from Aaron Myers in there. Then we get into the people of the wasteland. Like they got the characters in here. Some of the monsters, locations. Huh. Uh, some of the concept art. Uh, some weapons and stuff. Uh, so this looks fantastic as well. You know, they're really setting the bar really high with all this stuff, though. <laughs> you know, the question is, will the game be good enough to justify all this uh, celebration? Okay. So I think that's all the stuff that was on the side. Now we just need to get this final box open. I think everything is in this except for the actual discs. I think they saved that for later. Cut away the styrofoam. I'll take these out just to set them aside. Now it looks like this is hinged. Yeah, they are definitely setting the bar high with this collector's edition. Let me tell you, this, <laughs> this game had better be nothing short of amazing. But, you know, even if it's not, credit where it's due. Whoever put this collector's edition together did a fantastic job. You know, part of the reason for something like this, too, is to get you excited about the game. You know, when you see that people are taking it this seriously, it builds up an excitement level. There we go. Okay. Ow! You know, I'm kind of tempted to save this, even the styrofoam. I don't know if you can see this, but it says Wasteland 3 on it. <laughs> so it's like you really don't want to get rid of any part of this. Whoa, something in here is very heavy. Okay, what is this? Uh, it looks like a scorpion or scorpitron. What do they call those? The big scorpions? I should probably know that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, there's looks like a scorpion tail. Maybe that's a part of a part of a miniature. And let's see what this is. Looks like another part of it. Some little guns. That's pretty cool. Maybe this is like a little thing that flies around too. But it looks like it's got a, a little plug on the back. What in the world are we getting into here? Oh, yeah, look at that. So this is the base. And they've really packed this carefully. Obviously, they don't want these getting destroyed and shipping and people sending it away. They're sending it back for another one. Okay, move away with that. So we have the base there. Let's see, I'm going to guess that connects there maybe. I don't know if we're supposed to glue this on or if it snaps in place. I don't really want to be too rough on it. But it looks like surely that must go there. You know, famous last words. Maybe I should play with this when I like, can really sit down and study it. But I'm guessing that one goes there on the front. You know, I might have it upside down even, but let's just see. I'm kind of excited about this now. I think it probably goes something like that, maybe? So check that out. <laughs> you know, this is probably what this base is for. You could so you can set it in there and really display it the full effect. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll, I'll show you a close-up of this. Let's get over here so you can really get in there. Look at that. Look at the details in this. Like even the garbage around the base of this thing. You know, like an old tire, a, a cement block, some bricks. It wouldn't surprise me if they even threw in some uh, 
Easter eggs in there. I haven't, you know, you're just now seeing this with me, so I haven't studied it closely. But knowing these guys, they probably have put a few little surprises in that. Oh, <laughs> that is just unbelievably awesome. Wow. So I hope that you guys that are into Wasteland were able to uh, get this collector's edition because you're going to be very jealous <laughs> if you did not. And I think that's the, I guess that's just a base. It looks kind of like that might come off, but I don't think so. Uh, so there you have it, folks. Huge, huge collector's edition. Probably the most impressive collector's edition of anything I've ever seen anyway. I mean, it started... <laughs> It's, it's almost like a work of art just how they set this thing up. You know, they, they get you right away with like the little cassettes and the dog tags and the, uh, the cool looking keychain, but then it just keeps building up and building up. You get the awesome books. You're like, whoa, how could this possibly get better? And of course, they save the big fireworks for last when you finally get this big box open and you see your, uh, really miniature is not the right word for this, but, <laughs> you know, massively impressive now, even the base of this is like lined and felt, so it'll, you know, stay put nicely. I just don't know what else to say. Even if I don't ever play the game, <laughs> even if I was never going to play the game, you know, I, I would still want this just for the sheer awesomeness of it. So, wow. You know, the bar has been set probably higher <laughs> uh, than any other game I've played just based on this collector's edition alone. So... Uh, I've got the game installing over there. Hopefully it is ready by now. So let's uh, let's get to it. You know, one other thing I've, I've got to mention here. I just noticed that even, even the back of this <laughs> is painted. <laughs> you know, wow. Just magnificent. Welcome to colorful Colorado. Okay, now... <laughs> Let's play the game. <laughs> I could just sit here and talk about the, this collector's edition all day, though, really. All right, I can't resist. <laughs> you got to see this. <laughs> look, at, look at it. It's like they measured my shelf. I mean, it just fits perfectly in there. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Oh, man, this is just the best. Look at that. Completely awesome. Really fills up that shelf. Man, I hope you guys have copies of this is all I can say. All right, now, <laughs> play the damn game. <laughs> all right, here we go. Looks like it's loaded up and ready to rumble. <laughs> I've seen you before. I have you on my shelf. Ah, good title screen. You know, so far I've yet to see one detail out of place. I mean, these folks are... Really doing a good job so far. All right, let's go ahead and start it up. I'm going into this cold, by the way. Never played it before. You know, of course, I played the second one, but haven't read any reviews. Totally fresh. All right, see. Select difficulty. Wastelanders for new and returning players who want to experience the wastes as intended. A harsh but fair apocalypse. That's the way I like my apocalypses. Harsh but fair. So I'll probably end up going with that one. Usually the harder difficulties just, to me, make it more frustrating. And easy is just for... Yeah, that, that picture about sums it up, right? <laughs> I think Wastelander will be just fine for me. It's like we could turn friendly fire off and on so we don't want our party members damaging each other. You know, I'm just going to go with this. It says that's the way it's intended, and I see no reason to want to uh, do something different at this point. Man, the interface, the music, the graphics, everything top notch, absolutely. Every monster was a man first. Edward Albee. You know, my mom always told me that. Yeah. It's been a rough few years for the Desert Rangers. When the world ended, they tried to bring some order to what was left of Arizona. Remember, folks, then, no similarities to real events. Up, and they found themselves in a fight to the death with its ruling <sighs> army. 
In the end, they had to nuke their own base to kill the damn thing for good. Been hard going ever since. Then, the Rangers heard from a fellow calling himself the Patriarch. Said he owned Colorado, but his kids were trying to steal it from him. And if the Rangers were to come and put him in their place, he'd give Arizona all the food and supplies it needed to rebuild and survive. <laughs> yeah, that was a little bit creepy. This will be Minnesota in a couple of weeks. Yeah, top notch movie. Yeah. A lot of trucks fall through the ice on these frozen lakes. <laughs> All these baby heads, doll heads, those are creepy. Grab those collectibles. Oh. Yeah. It's been a rough road lately. But that's the thing about the Rangers. It doesn't matter how hard it gets or how many of them fall. They keep on fighting. Huh? The Rangers never stop fighting. I want to fight! <laughs> Get me in there! <laughs> Man, that was awesome. It's clearly no expense was spared on that opening. If they keep this this up, man, this 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 has got potential, let me tell you. Alright, here we go. Looks like we've got our Character creation screen. Young Rangers. Is this like a. It's like they're paired up, sort of like they are in Divinity. Original Sin. Punk lovers. Punk lovers. Does that mean they're punks who love punk or love each other? Or. <laughs> uh, let's see. Thrills, kills, and spills of the life breath of these star crossed punk rock lovers who fought their. So. Do they love each other, or do they love the punk rock? Um, okay, I don't know. Uh, father and daughter. William has been a nearly wordless killing machine since his wife died. His daughter, Lee Singh, does all the talking and some of the killing. And so again, going into this completely cold, folks, just you're experiencing it. If, you, if, you, or <laughs> if you're in a similar boat, <laughs> uh, it... It looks, though, like we, in this game, will have a, a pair of companions or characters, sort of like Divinity. Original Sim. Let's see. Science Geeks. Tech Heads. So it looks like we could create some custom characters if we didn't like these, but, yeah, what the hell. Let's see. Young Rangers. Lovers and rivals since first joining the Rangers. Yuri and Spence's competitiveness drives them to excellence in risky dares. So this was the uh, the first option. Looks like we have a trooper named Yuri and a combat medic named Spence there on the right. And they are lovers and rivals. This sounds kind of interesting. Or we could do the punk lovers. We could do this father and daughter combo. Mentor and student. Now maybe I'll do this one since I'm a professor in real life. You know, this could be... <laughs> this might be a little too close to home. I don't know. 
Let's see, mercs who served under good commanders and bad. They hope this time they're fighting for folks who don't make them do terrible things. You know, I'm kind of feeling like the, uh, well, that's pretty cool. Science geeks who fell in love. So everybody's in love, I guess, except for the, you got the father and son, or father and daughter combo, and then the, uh, well, the professor and student, maybe. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> uh, let's just do them, though. Let's see, so we have a survivalist named Dusty and a modern named Marie. And we got some skills here, big guns. You probably know what that does. It doesn't get much simpler than big. <laughs> and it's a gun. <laughs> Explosives. Kick ass. Allows you to sweet talk information out of others and bring them to your way of thinking. Not very, uh, know about any professors you know, but we, these, it <laughs> seems to be representative of our skill set. <laughs> See, no quirks. Oh, that's, that's not right. A mentor should definitely have some quirks. Old hand. So that's our backgrounds. So it just gives us critical resistance of 5%. So that's pretty uh, self-explanatory if you've ever played a, a role-playing game. It's like a nice little mix, pretty good variety. <laughs> Weird science. <laughs> Increases the damage you deal with unconventional types of weapons. Also a, a really good movie and song. Okay, let's just select this pair. And just like that, looks like we're into combat. Good old turn base, got a grid on the ground, square grid. Everything looks pretty clearly laid out. I can pan around, rotate. Let's see, how do I. Must be a way to like scroll around. Now oh, the arrow keys do that. Left moves. This has a very XCOM like feel to it. Let's see, tool tips. Attacking! Must have noticed I needed some help. Left click an enemy within your weapon's range to attack them. Enemies within your attack range will show your hit chance above their hits. And I'm going to leave the tutorials on because I could probably use them. So, yeah, just like. Uh, it's very tactical. Looks like I got cover there behind this. Whatever that is. 29% chance to kill or shoot Dorsey. There's people out of cover there. Should probably go for them. Or I can see all. Oh, oh, that's pretty cool. So if you hold the button down, you can see everybody's. Uh, you can see everybody's hit chance. Let's try to hit this person. Oh, it's out of range. This one's not out of range, okay. So then we've got our attack with your current weapon. So all this stuff looks familiar to me from the previous game. So I'm just gonna do the obvious thing and try to shoot this uh, stalker over there. Ah, so they got some, some flavor text, I guess. The little comic bubbles pop up as well, very cool. Spending leftover action points. Once you finished acting with a character, you may have action points left over. That's okay. You can put them to good use by opening your quick bar and selecting one of your final actions. Okay, yeah, really liking the f feel of this so far. This interface feels good. Let's see, defend, prepare. So we can either <coughs> defend, this will give us 5% evasion for each point we spend. Or we can try this prepare. End your turn and carry over up to two unused AP to your next turn. So that's a you know that's a good good decision you get to make. You know, both of those are seem viable to me. See so I guess we could do an ambush if you wanted to use your full slot. So that's good. Let's just use the defend. You notice too, I mean it's like they watch my match chats, because they know that I don't want to watch like 30 minutes of cutscenes before I get to this. <laughs> you know, put me in a battle quick. They've succeeded. See, combat movement. Uh, during combat, your rangers may need to take cover, change attack positions. Blue spaces 
There are areas a ranger can move to with enough action points left for an attack. Orange spaces are areas within their maximum movement range. Again, a very well thought out interface here. A lot very informative. So in other words, I wouldn't want to move like there because then I'd be wide open, but I would at least get my shot. You know, I'm thinking maybe just stay put. Uh, I wonder what else, else I have. Looks like uh, Marie here has... You know, if I had a grenade, I always want a grenade in a situation like this, but maybe I don't have one. Med, she's got a med hypo. <laughs> I probably don't want to give them a, <laughs> uh, a medicine. Okay, let's just try the... Tempted to move, but let's just... Let's see, out of range. Is everybody out of range? Hmm. So it looks like I will have to move to get a shot. So let's try moving. Huh. Where do I want to move? I guess I could move right there. Okay, go ahead and move. <laughs> and let's try there. And missed. She doesn't have enough action points left, but we can do this defend option. Ah, uh, look what we have there. Ooh, crap. Coming at the rear. That's not what you want to hear in a situation like this. These guys are on my side. There's the problem. Hang in there, November. Almost got it. You know, I wonder if all these different starting groups have their own. Okay, so I can use my first person shooter controls to, to scoot around. I wonder if they all have the same uh, starting zone. So I guess she's got this rifle, she can shoot further. Let's try this over here. Boom! Torrent strike. Charge up this ability with each successful attack. Fire a torrent of death in a wide area. Nice! Well, this is tactically rich. This is like the very first battle. You know, you already start thinking, what, what kind of opportunities am I going to have to level up and learn new skills? All right, she doesn't have a very good chance of hitting that. To get the looks like we have one more enemy here. Good job, student. Oh, she's got some movement left. I wonder why there's only a negative thirty-three percent chance to hit. Oh, maybe that's a damage resistance. Okay. So oh, what the heck? Go ahead, shoot the war bot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we still got enough, not enough AP for another shot, so let's do the... I got a feeling like this thing's going to shoot out a burst at me. I don't know what else to do. I guess we'll just defend. Ruh-roh! Oh! You know, I notice they're not going for my characters until now. <laughs> It's almost like this was planned. Your turn. Vehicle turret online. It's time to even the odds. Left click on the vehicle or use tab to select it. Then attack the Dorsey Warbot to take it out. Alright, so I got a little a little backup. Okay, let's see. Attack. Yeah, why don't you attack this guy? Boom! Nice! And I still got one enemy left. Oh, I missed. That's too bad. What else can I do here? I wonder if I could punch him. I could run out and oh, not quite enough movement. Ok, 
Okay, let's do the defend again. That'll probably be a common option. Okay, let's try this. Did it. Did <laughs> you see that roll up? <laughs> That's awesome. Rocket launcher up on the dam. You had me at rocket launcher. We'll each find our own way out there and catch him front and back. Got it? I want to shoot a rocket. Uh, yeah, yeah, we got it. Understood, Major. I guess I'll be polite. Good. And remember, Arizona's depending on us. There's no giving up here. There's no going back. Do it for Arizona. All right, move out. All right. You notice one thing I'm noticing? They're not giving you those long cutscenes. <laughs> I want that guy's job. But, you know, they're keeping these story elements where they don't distract you too much. You know, they're keeping the action going. I love that. A lot of games these days, they want to saddle you down with like, you know, two books worth of text to read in between every battle. Uh, not seeing that here, which is good. So to move your characters, right click on the ground where you'd like to go. You can also hold down the mouse button and your characters will follow your mouse cursor. Okay, makes sense. Let's try the first method. Oh, well, they can't get across that little gap, I guess. Yeah, I saw some loot over here. I know you ain't trying to leave without this loot. Scrap. Spikes. Ammunition. This ammo is used only in the jankiest of homemade weapons. What are these bags up here, I wonder? Oh, this is like all the bags in the area, I guess? Hot Wheels car! <laughs> this plastic car. Wait a minute! Hot Wheels aren't made out of plastic. Come on! Let's see what else do we have. Okay, they, they, I have to ding them a point for the hot plastic Hot Wheel. Muscle tissue junk. Ugh. What is that? Yellow. <laughs> yellow snowball. Don't eat the yellow snow, folks. Watch out where the huskies go, and don't you eat that yellow snow. I thought everybody knew that. So I guess we could we can throw this snowball at people. Throw at a target to leave them wondering <laughs> when their life turned wrong. 10% <laughs> chance to apply the stink. 5% chance to apply black thaw. Denver rot. <laughs> Freezer burn. <laughs> wow, they get all that from a snowball. Okay, so I like this. We just rapidly click, loot everything, boom, boom, boom. Back in the game. Man, somebody there at this studio knows what knows what's knows what they're doing. That's all I gotta say. Now the question is, how do I get over there though? Okay, can't go that way. Let's see, group versus individual selection. You're now controlling a single character. This is useful when setting up before a fight or navigating past landmines and traps. However, while exploring the world, it's generally better to keep your entire squad together. You can quickly select everyone by pressing space or by left-clicking and dragging the cursor box to select your entire group. Now, so this, you know, somebody that's been kind of dabbling with game development myself, you know, I can appreciate even something like this. You know, they could have just popped this up with text only, uh, but instead we've got a picture there that represents what they're talking about. They even have a nice hover effect to show you what I'm hovering over. <laughs> uh, it's even a thematically appropriate, kind of a little snowy texture around it. So it's just the little things like that. So many people miss that or they don't even think about it. But it all contributes to the experience. All right, there must be some way to get across there. Maybe I have to have the group selected. Maybe I'm not even supposed to go that way. Maybe I'm <laughs> supposed to go this way, maybe. Okay, don't 
Get in that ice. <laughs> There's probably some doll head bombs down in there. How disturbing is that, by the way? Well, that's like another corpse there. Usually there's some way to, like, highlight everything. I don't know what... Maybe that shift... The tire tracks. Tread marks lead away from the ambush. If a ranger vehicle... Ve vehicle? <laughs> a vehicle escaped, the broken ice has hidden the trail. Well... Are you washed in the blood? What in God's name? Oh, so I guess I could just shoot this person. Or should we try to talk to him? This ice does not look safe. I like how it's... I wonder if it's going to give me a tip. So it's just letting me decide what to do here. It's not popping up with some suggestion. You know, it's, it's actually trusting me to be intelligent enough to make a decision. <laughs> okay. Okay. Should we shoot him? I don't know. Boom. I think it's probably safe to assume that was a bad guy. Just a hunk of plastic. So there must be some sort of crafting system we're going to get into here in a bit. Now I wonder if I need to reload. Does it reload automatically after a battle? Is that what that's showing me? Let's see, reload. Now, so it does not reload for you. I guess I don't want to do everything for you. Okay, let's see. space bar, continue on. Believe me, I want to get off the ice. There's probably a button that would uh, automatically center it on my people. It's not space bar. Moving on. Ranger V. This truck is empty. You know, this feels a lot like maybe a Baldur's Gate 2 style. Yeah, it's really smooth. I'm really, I think I like this interface better than I did for the uh, previous Wasteland game. It really feels like they've stepped everything up several notches, actually. See, someone sliced open this ranger's abdomen. Oh. And removed his intestines. Judging by the expression that is frozen on his dead face, he was alive when it happened. Now he is in a chili can. Reservoir trail and dam overlook. Oh, I think I left my partner behind there. Where'd he go? Get over here! Huh. Something's going on up here. Get that fucking gun off of me! I don't know! So there's... Definitely some uh, salty language in this. There might be an option to. Uh, I wonder if there's an option to uh, language English. You know, sometimes they'll let you turn that off if you're want to let your kids play it. <laughs> uh, multiplayer conversation response. Interface. I don't see a. I'm not seeing anything like that. Maybe under sound. UI narration. There might be somewhere here a way to, uh, you know, to, to bleep out the cuss words. Maybe. Uh, I don't see it though. It doesn't really bother me, but you know, it might be a deal breaker for some. Okay, what do we have up there? Container. Ammo box. So this is the... Probably a case where I want to... Use her, uh... Yeah, this bunker buster. Now, is there like a stealth? Crouch down. 
Okay, but that's going to stop automatically if I move. Now, how do I do this? I want to. Don't want to be seen. Oh, I have to talk. I guess. Okay. Fuck! Your friends are here. Okay, Hotlanders. Drop your guns. Hotlander. Got it. Not happening. Who are you people? And why are you attacking us? Hard ass. Requirement not met. So I guess this is a skill I have to pick up or a trait. I do have kick ass though. Kick ass. Wait, nobody has to die. Just leave and we won't shoot. Or just to kill her. You know, I would go for the killer personally, but since I got this kick ass trait, might as well use it. Click move on, I guess. This is Arizona? Saved my life. Yeah, it feels more like where I come from. You probably should have killed that gal, though. Gonna warn her friends. Well, you know, I have to agree with the uh, agree with you, Private Bell. But the thing is, I had this kick-ass skill. We were trying to keep you alive. Shit, didn't think of that. I don't want to appear to be dumb. I appreciate it. Just watch yourself. They're right outside. Okay, we have a first day that I don't have yet. This is pretty clever, clever the way they set it up, though, so you can see that there is something called first aid. You don't have it yet. You know, it gives you a, a little bit of an incentive. You sort of see where this stuff would come in handy so that when you have the option, you, you'll know what it, what it does. See, any other survivors from your squad? Let's get you moving. We'll come back for you. You know, so a fair number of options here. It's not overwhelming. Just one line. I don't think that my characters are reading these lines. Let's click it and see what happens. Gotta catch my wind first. Let me stay here and guard your rear while you take care of the ones around the corner. Be careful. Yeah, again, I like that quick, serviceable, good voice acting. But you notice that when I clicked on the dialogue option, it didn't make me sit there and listen to my own character read <laughs> what I just read. <laughs> it always kind of bugs me, so I'm glad they didn't do that here. You know, I'm kind of wondering, is this, does this thing auto-save? I haven't seen anything about saving the game. Just hit, there's probably a, yeah, there's a quick save there. Go ahead and hit that. Whoa. Okay, so I can move it around with my, if I go to the corners, that's another way. I could talk again. I saw some, yeah, there's an ammo box there. 38 spikes. 30-06. Good luck from Joe on her mission with the Rangers. Rad Cuts Coupon. Uh, this coupon reads free haircut at Rad Cuts Barbershop. Let our nuclear powered robo barber, oh boy, uh, give you the ultimate trip for free. Ah, yeah, that's my, my worst nightmare. Uh, valid for new customers only. Survivors will be charged full price on future visits. Warning, prolonged exposure to Robo Barber may cause hair loss. Oh, Lord. Got another med hypo and some energy cells. So they're taking a page, or I guess a tape, out of the old Bioshock series. There might have been other games that did that earlier, I don't know. 
But it's kind of neat. You get a little bit of a flavor text that you can listen to. And that was uh, this private bell. So they're kind of setting that character up, giving you a little bit of an emotional connection to her, I suppose. They'll probably kill her brutally in the next sequence. Polaroid photo. Around the world at 800,000 days. <laughs> the thrilling and inspirational tale of a snail's journey to circumnavigate the globe. <laughs> uh, so basically what I'm seeing here is that somebody put a lot of thought into all the descriptions and they put come up with clever stuff even with the junk you know of course i'm always thinking with a game like this you know it starts off so strong so developed so detailed we'll see if that's just the in the opening or if they keep that up throughout the game i mean that would be a tremendous amount of uh of content if that's the case but you know okay we've got a campsite here Looks like the Dorseys haven't been camped here long. They must have known you were coming. Huh. So I'm getting a little hints that they're of a bigger story, a bigger plot. Oh. Wake up, cousins! More Hotlanders coming! Ah, Rolling off, fun. Guess we better finish off the rest of them. Guess you hail! I'm gonna go kill me some of them Dorses. This is my natural speaking voice, by the way. I had to work hard, sound like one of you guys. What is this? Dorsey Hunters. Okay, I don't, I don't really, want, I don't really want to walk into this guy's line of fire. I feel like there should be like a stealth way to move around stealthily. You can do that, but it, as soon as I move, it exits. We got some oil tanks. We probably should. Oh, what the hell! Okay, so I guess they haven't seen me, but I can shoot at them. Let's try it. Crouch down. Now, can I set up my other character too? Yeah, crouch behind that oil barrel. <laughs> Never smart. Uh, maybe move her. Yeah, maybe just right beside there. We'll try this out. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but... Maybe that's the way to give her a little cover. Okay. Man, I love the way that grid just rolls out. That is awesome. I see taking cover. Quick, take cover. Taking cover protects you from enemy gunfire and improves your weapon's hit chance. There are two types of cover, low and high. High cover provides special protection. Watch out, though. Cover only protects you from attacks coming from that direction. Yes. Flanking. That enemy has taken cover. To flank them, try moving to a new firing position on the battlefield by hovering on a grid space with the mouse cursor and right-clicking. Let me uh, read that again. Okay, to flank them. Try moving to a new firing position on the battlefield by hovering on a grid space. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is starting to feel really good. I mean, this combat, it's like straight out of XCOM, which to me is one of the best turn-based interfaces. You know, you really get to scroll around. See? Yeah, there we go. We can rotate as well. You know, I probably want to get in there and tweak these settings just a little bit, maybe the sensitivity, just to kind of fuss with it a little bit. Okay, let's see. So we got... Here we go. So we can scroll all around the battlefield. I assume if there's somebody beyond our... in the fog of war, we wouldn't see them. So let's see. We've got an oil tanker. Oil tank there. Probably want to shoot. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I guess she's must be out of movement. So this guy here might have a clear shot at her. This guy might be able to run up there. So I'll tell you what, I guess we'll just try this defense again. Hopefully I'll get a yeah, good Marie can move. So let's try. I wonder if I'll be able to hit that 
from there. Looks like it's using a little ray to show me what I can shoot. I don't know if it'll target that. Let's try to get in and hit that oil tank. That's going to put me right out in the open. <laughs> I'm loving this. <laughs> it's so tactical. Uh, the only thing I, is I want to shoot this. Oh, what the hell. Let's just go nuts. Right out in the open. Out of range. Oh, I'm screwed. Okay, well, I don't want to sit out there. What's the problem here? Out of range. Oh, it must be just out of range. Okay, well, let's go ahead and... Uh, let's just use the defense. So we got three points left. That should give us 15%. Yep. This is going to be painful. Ooh, poor Marie. She's going to have to see the school nurse after this. Now i got to be able to hit this target blocked. We don't have much movement at all. I guess this gun takes a lot of... Yeah, it takes six action points to fire it. Let's just stay put and uh, shoot this guy. I'm glad I turned that friendly fire off. Yeah, we can just defend with the rest of that. Now it looks like it's my turn, all my characters go, and then all the enemies go. It's not a each individual person getting a move, or getting a turn order. This ranger is injured. Fortunately, they are also equipped with med hypos they can use to heal themselves. Uh, do you, themself, um, themselves? <laughs> anyway. Uh, to use one, left click your items button in the quick bar, then left click on the med hypo. Simple enough. But I... I think I'd rather shoot that... barrel. <laughs> Boom! Okay, and that did nothing. <laughs> I guess they were out of range. I would have had to be a little bit slicker to make that work. But, you know, maybe that'll be... turn out okay. Let's go ahead and use this hypo. Oh, I don't have enough. It says it takes three. I've only got two points left. Oh, this is bad. Okay, then we'll I just have to... We'll just have to tough it out again. Sorry about that, Marie. At least she's got a little bit of cover. Oh, yikes! Oof. I definitely could have done this better. Man, just does not have the damn range. I guess she doesn't have a sidearm. Not enough action points, so we'll just have to wait again. Now, I guess I could do this prepare option. They haven't been shooting at her, so maybe I'll try that. Okay, definitely use the hypo. So it looks like that healed me up about halfway. Go ahead and get her out of harm's way. Lucky action. What is that? She gets another round? That was pretty cool. Must be a perk I didn't know I had. Unfortunately, everybody's out of range. This uh, pistol here must be pretty limited. So, you know what? I'm going to use another hypo. Okay, so she should be good. Let's put her back on defense. Oh! I wonder if I get an, a perk for being, a, or some advantage for being up high like this. I wonder if there's a way. There's probably a way to break down the shot, or see the stats. Anyway, 43% chance there. 94% chance. Let's go for him. Alright. 
This should be good. I'll do this prepare option again. Alright, 90% chance there. Boom! Out of range. So they're gonna, I guess they've got enough range to keep back. So he's not gonna come to me. Uh, a little bit tricky here. Maybe over here. No, well, he's running. He's repositioning. Okay, 54% chance. And got him. I took an outflow pipe through to the far side of the dam. Now it looks like I can get up behind those yahoos on the top and take them unawares. Let me know when you're in position and we'll shit! Incoming fire! Taking cover! Alright. Man, that was like the first real battle. And I bet you it would probably would have killed me if I hadn't if I'd have been truly stupid. <laughs> So, not exactly holding my hand here. Get some more ammo. Polaroid photo. Hostage taker's key. Medic pack. So it looks like these, uh, I wonder if I have to like... I guess they share this, this pack somehow. Okay, so hit I for inventory. So it looks like I can... How does this work? Does that stack automatically or what? Not sure how many she's got. Not really clear how that... <clears throat> Quick slot item. Is this just something I can use over and over again? Surely there must be a limit to it. Huh. So she's got two slots there. Let's see, weapons, armor, usable items. Oh, okay. So that has a little numbers beside it too. Does that mean I have two of them? <laughs> I don't know. I'll give them both snowballs then. Weird. Okay, so they have their own little quick bars I can put stuff on. Uh, I guess this does not have a quantity. It's kind of interesting. A little different. Wow, we've got all these weapons we've picked up. How do I see what they have on, I wonder? Alright. Apparently I had a bunch of inventory items. There's something living in there. <laughs> it ain't your foot. <laughs> okay, so I guess the orange means we can't use it. Wait, that one we can. Some of these we can use. So she's got this bunker buster weapon. Okay, we can compare it there. So a heavy machine gun versus a sniper rifle. Okay. And I guess she's got small arm fire, so we could trade her semi-auto pistol out for a shotgun damage. Okay, so that shotgun does more damage. Doesn't have the ammo capacity. Looks pretty much better in all <laughs> Old Man Winter Revolver. Base hit chance. You know, I'm all about the shotguns. No, I think we could probably give her two weapons, looks like. I want to keep the old man Winter's uh, show stats. Oh, so you can really get in here. They got a stat here. Critical chance, hit chance, critical damage. 
penetration. A pretty fine grained uh, stat system on that strike rate. How quickly you build up your strike meter. There's a pretty. Wow, look at all these stats on the, every weapon. <laughs> wow. You know, can you imagine how long it took to put all that together? Let's see, close that. Let's go back to our menu. Okay, let's give her a sidearm, I'm thinking. Okay. Why are some of these orange? I don't know if that means stuff I found. It's like glowing in orange for some reason. I don't know what the deal is there. Let's see that. Oh, maybe she no. Okay, so that's a big gun that takes six action points. Let's see if we can find something that that doesn't use so many action points. A rocket. On the other hand, we have a rocket launcher. A flamethrower takes four. Yeah, let's try the flamethrower. Uh, elemental weapons ignore enemy armor entirely. The four elemental damage types are energy, fire, cold, and explosive damage. Enemies are often weak to some elemental damage types. Okay. Flamethrower. Let's see, why do I not... What happened to my... I guess I don't have any armor. I got those weapons. Got this ammo. No mods. No miscellaneous. I assume I don't have to equip the ammo. Why are you assuming things, Matt? Let's take a look at that attribute screen. Coordination, luck, awareness, strength. <sighs> oh, the potential. There's our combat skills. Learn skills, combat skills, general skills. Nerd stuff. Social skills, perks. This is all looking really good. Lots of stuff. Pretty good looking map too. There's our mission log. Convoy and bushed. Even a reputation system. I assume there'll be some factions there later on. This is a real deal. Let's see, how are my characters doing? Are they both? She's a little bit rusty, or a little bit damaged. I wonder if there's like a Camp, camp command. This is question mark doing there. I don't know if I'm supposed to do something here. Let's just move on. Yeah, I can't help it. When I see a map, I always want to see everything. Never know when there might be a little treasure. Here's a medical crate over here. Injury kit, quick slot item, a set of medical tools designed for surgical treatment and other serious injuries. Removes any injuries the target character has. So I guess there's an injury system. Probably be more useful than our uh, <laughs> snowball. Let's go ahead and try that on. We have a grenade box. Yep, there's some frag grenades. Those are also upgrading your gear. You've looted an item upgrade. Click the inventory button on the HUD or use I to access the inventory screen and equip your gear. That's the inventory button on the HUD. Is it? Where is that? Is that that? Upgrading your gear. Let's equip your new gear. Choose a ranger by selecting their portrait. Da -da -da. 
left click and drag the item from your inventory. So I already did that. I got ahead of the the game a little bit, I suppose. Let's give this grenade to. Uh, yeah, give it to the student. You know, most people can throw a grenade, right? <laughs> Is that the upgrade they were talking about, or was there? Is that a mod? Wait, how many of these do I have? Okay, I guess I can give them both grenades. Must have picked up two of them. So what I don't know, can you use the grenades over and over again? Surely not, huh? Maybe you can. That'd be a little bit different. This is guts. Oh, look at this. Oh! Oh, another gun puppy to my name. You hearing this, Erastus? <laughs> you ought to be here. The deluge of blood has begun, and I'm winning, big brother. It's starting to kind of remind me of uh, Borderlands. Welcome to Colorado, yep. Yeah. <laughs> You know, if you're crossing a state line and you see a welcome sign like this, you, you might want to turn around. Your chamber of commerce is not up to snuff. You know, just save the game for us. I hear something. Desert war butt. So I can walk right in the path of a light machine turret. It's like I can't get over there. Should probably sneak over here. All right, here we go. Look out! There's a big ass robot ahead. <laughs> Luckily, it doesn't see you yet. Stay out of its detection range to go unnoticed. You can get the first turn in combat by attacking an enemy before it spotted you. However, we cannot stress enough how badly that robot will f uh, you up right now. Okay, so they're. Letting me know I do not want to engage with that robot. Hmm. Broken valve. Can't repair that. Need mechanics level one. Ah, a little bit of hacking. I can still hear that robot moving around though. The computer display reads Aegis. Automated defense network. Status ready. Enter command. Nerd stuff. Requirements not met. Disable defenses. Step away from the computer. Well, let's try to disable the de defenses. Defense network disabled. Sys admin re authorization required for restart. All right. Does that deactivate everything, or just the turret? This ranger was crawling away from his vehicle when he was killed. Somebody sliced him open with his knife and let him bleed to death. Oh, back away from the robot. <laughs> it's like the only thing I can do is destroy that thing. Let's see, maybe I can scoot around him. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Woo! What does that say? Deluge? Deluge of blood! There's a generator, a weapon crate. Holy sh! Well, what was that? Some objects in the world are hidden. Each character in your squad has a perception stat. Uh, of course they do. That indicates how well they're able to spot hidden objects like alarms, traps, or secrets. So we got a rotator revolver. Some more spikes and a smoke grenade. Hinder both optical target acquisition and electronic sensors. That'll probably come in handy. So it looks like she took a lot of damage. 
I guess now would be a good time to see if this is... Do I really just have unlimited? No, doesn't look like it anymore. So I guess you do have a limited supply of these med hypos. Alright, what's going on there? So... I don't know if it'll let me see the mines. Okay, requires lock picking. You know, it looks like there's a little... I don't know. I guess I have to leave that behind for the time being. There's a booze box. Snake squeezins. Large container. Well, there's a rabbit's paw. Utility. Lucky for you, maybe not so much for the rabbit. Exactly. A sign-up sheet. Sign up for the Chicken Fight Battle Royale. Ten teams will enter the lake, but only one will emerge victorious. Please note, participants will also need to sign the Wrongful Death Waiver. <laughs> you know, I'm really liking the humor in this. It's, it's really good. Let's do, I just want to do a quick check to see if this is better than my uh let's see old man winter versus oh, where'd he go no 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 rotator does i think a if the price is anything to go by the one i have is better now where does that go where do you put a utility item I uh, don't see a place to... Oh, I guess there. So she's got a wrench. Gives her plus three armor. Or I could take this rabbit foot, which gives me a 3% critical chance. It's worth quite a bit more. One month. A worn AA medallion. Oh, she said AA. So we don't want to give her the snake squeezins. Let's uh, swap out this... I don't know, the wrench is probably more effective, but we'll try that out. No, actually, I, I kind of like the armor. <laughs> Critical damage. Ah, what the hell, we'll just stick with this. There's that deluge of blood again. Ominous. You know, while I'm thinking about it, go ahead and... Let's go ahead and reload everybody. Yeah, looks like they're all loaded. Ammo box, medical crates. Yeah, th I guess this must mean three hypos. Nitro spike. The incapacitated party members don't need to stay down. All they need is the spike, a friend, and a quick stab in the heart. You know, folks, when you got a game like this and they keep giving you, like, all these medical power-ups and spikes, probably means you're coming up on a big battle and they think you're probably going to die. Voices and laughter and rocket fire and <laughs> the suspense. Open the door, leave it closed. Yeah. Oh, somebody's got a rocket launcher. Uh, damn it. Uh, looks like we killed them all. Guess the fun is over. I know the feeling. Don't you love entrails? 
So I'm going to go out on a limb here and speculate that this is a bad guy. Who's Erastus? Who the hell are you people? <laughs> Why did you attack us? What's this deluge of blood? Yes, yes. <laughs> I guess you don't know the scripture. The Darcy's are the harbingers of the deluge, the motherfucking end of the old world, and the beginning of the new. And it all begins here, you little prayer dog. What I do be the Darcy's gonna do to all of Colorado. So squeal all you want. No one's coming to save us. Oh, what the hell? What? Holy shit. They're going to kill Jared. <laughs> oh, man, I was just getting into his platform. <laughs> okay, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> hey, we're in combat. Alright, where's the bad guys? We got... Looks like we got a little helper up there and made a major. Some songs playing. <laughs> oh. Man, they are really pulling out all the stops on this. They even have a, a song with lyrics that goes with this battle. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll move. Got a bunch of oil tanks. Can I hit it? There we go. That must have hurt. The question is, let's see if I move here. Yeah, let's try moving here. Okay, that looks like it's going to blow up my cover. Let's see, what about the pistol? Target blocked, out of range. You know what? I want to try a grenade. Oh, I don't quite have enough movement. Ah, okay, well, we'll do the... Let's do the shotgun this way. Oh, I hurt myself somehow. What the hell happened there? She must have blown up herself somehow. Oh, that's not good. She's on fire. Oh. I guess I must have accidentally blown up something there. Okay, I think I'll be able to... Nope. Uh, things aren't looking good for her. Maybe I can take these guys out. Nope. I don't know. She shot the the shotgun. I guess it must have blown up. These barrels that are on fire must still have some uh, juice in them or something. Let's see. Strikes. Your strike meter is full. You charge up your strike meter each time you make a successful attack. Each weapon has a unique strike. A powerful special attack that could turn the tide of battle. Okay, so each weapon has one of those, huh? That doesn't look... So I guess it's her turn. We better use a hypo. Alright, so she's still on fire. Let's get her back. You gotta be careful with this shotgun, I suppose. Let's try it again. Out of ammo. This weapon's out of ammo. Now you can make try equipping a different weapon. Or unequipping it and going bare knuckle. Alright. So I guess low ammo is going to be a problem. Let's see what to do. We only have a 28% chance of hitting that guy. 8% chance. Oh, we got this. 
Fling a fire torrent of death in a wide area. Okay, let's try that. <laughs> well, that worked well. Okay, let's go ahead and rest. What is this? Use abilities this character has learned. Double barrel. Double your fun. Fire two times. Let's see. Reload. I wonder how she learned that. Is it just having a number of attacks? Okay. I want to shoot this guy. Boom. Dead. Okay, and have you yeah, rest, defend. I guess once you get set on fire, you're on fire for a long time. This is the reinforcements have joined the battle. Whew. All right. You know, I'm getting tempted to break out that flamethrower. What the hell? 95% <laughs> chance. Let's just see what happens. I oh, don't burn. Alright. Did that actually do anything? Missed. Okay, that's... You know, I'm going to just get right up next to him and give him a... Damn, she's almost dead, though. Ah, Marie, you're using up all my hypos. Okay, I think I can go here. And shoot this guy point blank. Oh! Didn't quite kill him, though. Damn, you think I... I think a shotgun blast to point blank range would pretty much take anybody out. I'm gonna go back to my big gun there. Actually, let's see, you gotta reload it, but I think this would be a good. Matter of fact, let's get a little bit closer and just. Now, is that going to hurt her, too, I wonder? Looks like it will, so let's, uh... Switch back to this gun. Oh, shoot! Well, that stinks. Alright, I guess I wasted that turn. Maybe I can, like... Doesn't look like there's going to be any way to use that without hurting my student down there, so I'm just going to, uh... Let's see, where are these other guys at? Eh, not a lot I can do, I'm afraid, so let's just, uh... Move here, I guess. Hopefully... Okay, she gets another shot, good. Out of ammo. Let's try the double barrel. Can I get them both? Oh, she got one. Let's see if we can finish up with the pistol. Miss! Ah! <laughs> you really shouldn't have missed. So I guess every time you use the weapon, you can build up that meter a little bit. I don't want to use the flamethrower. Alright. Uh, let's see what's going on. Leveling up. Mission completed. Leveling up. Your rangers have leveled up. Leveling up grants them extra constitution and skill points to spend on upgrading their skills. At later levels, I'll also gain additional attribute points. To upgrade your skills, use K or left click on the inventory button. Yada yada. 
the show back on the road. Got a little bit of good luck charms over here. And I just wanted to show you one thing, folks. This is a hot wheel. So when you take a good look at this, these are actually thematically appropriate. It's kind of like the apocalyptic hot wheels have been coming out with lately. But uh, the reason I <laughs> point this out is if I bite into this, that's metal. I'll just leave it at that. <clears throat> okay. So now we get to level up, and that's always a big deal in a game like this. And It looks like they have, once again, gone all out with lots of uh, options. I can turn my thing just right. <laughs> no. <laughs> See, when rangers level up, they earn skill points needed for skill upgrades. Since you've just leveled up, go to the skills tab by using the navigation bar. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, we have a little exclamation point. Let's click on it. Upgrading the skills. Leveling up rewards each character with skill points that can be spent to upgrade their existing skills or learn new ones. It only costs a single skill point to increase a skill early on. But wait! This cost goes up at higher levels. All right. What about the attributes? So I don't get a point for that yet. It must be every other every other turn, maybe. So you get attributes, skills, and perks. So let's see, do we want to keep her on this uh So the kick ass is our show social skill. And then we have an explosives. What is explosives? Uh Diffuse bombs, avoid losing your digits when they go off. You know, this might turn out to be pretty useful if I keep running into mines and things I need to diffuse. So I'm kind of tempted to put a point into that. I get three of them. And then we could do something new, I suppose. So I guess there's no, like, trainers we need to go to. Could do lock picking. And then she's got the small arms. I wonder if the orange ones... Is that just ones I know already, or is that the suggestion? <laughs> Toaster repair. <laughs> That's a good old wasteland gag. It's got to have toast to repair, or it just would not be wasteland. Oh, what the hell. Let's try the big guns. I kind of like to just go with the flow, you know, what the character likes. Uh, she kind of enjoys big guns and things that blow up. You know, I kind of get into that. I I could see. Well, just I'm just gonna stick straight across the board. There's sure do the kick ass. So we could undo it or we could close it. But I want to go ahead and do my other character. Uh, let's see. We'll confirm in the yes. Okay, Marie. She's got these small arms. Weapon modding. Oh, that's a. That's a skill, okay. So it allows you to modify your weapons and strip them down for parts. That sounds very useful. So she's kind of, looks like she's got the uh, armor and weapon mods. And she likes the, uh, the pistols and shotguns. A shotgun is a small arm too, I suppose. Okay, so they both get the three... Yes, yes, yes. Now, are we, are we done there, or was there more to it? Okay, so nobody's got attributes. We used up all our skills. We don't have a perk yet. All right. So I like the, I like that they don't throw everything at you every level. Uh, makes it a little bit easier to get through that without a lot of uh, pausing. Casio watch, tin can, uh, spikes, scrap, mangler, rocket, rocket ammunitions, <laughs> the mangler, yep, I ain't going to be using that mangler, matter of fact, I want that thing, let's get that attached right now, it's worth $118, this roasty, toasty flamethrower is worth a little bit more. You know, I don't care. I'm gonna. Sh I want to shoot a rocket. Now, how do you? 
said that she, it said that, that uh, Marie can like strip stuff. How does she do that? I wonder. Let's see. Uh, pick something kind of crappy to experiment on. Uh, Blade of Winter. I might need these. You never know. I don't know if you are just going to be having these two characters the whole time if we'll get another character. Yeah, there it is. Modify weapon, field strip, or drop the item. You know, I really don't know if I have anything here that I just want to uh, to strip at the moment. Oh, there's our mod system. So you got... It's like four different slots on this shotgun. I wonder where I get... Do I make the mods or do I find them? These are all questions. Okay, well let's just hold off on that for a little bit. I'm wondering if I'm going to get more party members. It feels like I should. Veterans, ranged, star, utility. Hard ass plus one. Oh, wait, was that better than this one I got? And this is what you end up doing in an RPG. You're always looking at your... Uh, you know, looking at your inventory, trying to figure out, hmm, is this better than that? Where did that star go? Uh, what is it considered? I guess it doesn't have a utility. So I guess the utility is a different category. It's a little bit weird. It seems like they should have a utility tab up there somewhere. Uh, anyway, let's see. To use this, hard ass plus one, or I could have this armor plus three on her. <laughs> the AA plus three critical damage, or hard ass plus one. You know, I think having a hard ass plus one might be better than that little bit of critical damage. Go ahead and swap that out then. What else was in my inventory? Oh, flamethrower fuel. Gotcha. Alright. Let's go ahead and load that. Nice little... Everything else looks good. Nuke strike. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna enjoy this flamethrower. <laughs> I mean a rocket launcher. Flamethrower is cool too. Let's see, Major Vera Prasad. Breast stems from her clenched teeth. Her guts are spilling through her bloody fingers. Hey, what's up? <laughs> nice work finishing off that jerk's crew. Did you find any other survivors? Private Bell, she should be here soon. Bell's a good kid. Thank you. You did well. No. She closes her eyes, grimacing, then fumbles in her knapsack. You know, Baldur's Gate would have had a narrator read that line. Support the patriarchy, yes. We do that, and the patriarch sends aid to the Arizona Rangers. We don't, and the Rangers are fucked. That brings me hmm. secret orders. Secret orders. How secret? Who else knows about them? Go on. When we first heard from the patriarch, General Woodson sent an sent an advance team to Colorado, led by Angela. Death. But they went dark. We have to find them. Remember her? Angela Death? Who is Angela Death? We thought Angela Death was killed on the mission to California. Understood. We'll get it done. Be a second. Catch my breath. We can go. And we can go, go, go. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Get that song stuck in my head now. 
Let's see, just how bad do you think your wounds are? Help her up, hard ass. Major, with all due respects, you're dying. <laughs> you need to face this like a ranger now. <laughs> Does that mean I shoot her or something? Jeez. Uh, let's see. Try the first one. Her grip tightens on her side, holding her guts in, but she doesn't look down. I guess I could try to imitate the Baldur Skate guy. Her grip tightens on her side, holding her guts in, but she doesn't look down. Yeah. Should we go? Should we stay? Should I shoot her? Can't <laughs> kill her? Come on! <laughs> Not gonna kill her. Give me a break. You pull her up. Her shaky smile becomes an agonized grimace. You look down. Her intestines have slumped out of her, tumbling to the snow. Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't think that was the right thing. Or maybe they're trying to bring the war home. Well, at least we got some cool armor. Expert pipes. Awarded the LK for musical excellence. See, this is, you know, a nice little bit of flavor with this, right? You sort of see that... Well, she's a musician. She likes to play these uh, pipes. Oh, we got an assault rifle. And some more ammo and some armor. Okay, I'm guessing those will be some improvements. Is it a... No, it's an automatic weapon. Oh, I guess I can't use it. But I should be able to use this armor. You know what? I'm going to put it on this student of mine. Because... My students come first. Yes, they do. Experience bonus. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, definitely do that. I love any kind of experience point boost. You know, maybe a critical chance of 3% might be good, too. I think I'll swap that out. I don't know about this hard ass. <laughs> I don't know. It's just not... I guess when you really get down to it, I'm not really a hard-ass kind of guy. There's a note. Read. Take command of... Oh, these are her orders. Take command of a convoy. Make contact with Saul Buchanan, a.k.a. the Patriarch. Uh, protect the Patriarch. Locate Colonel Death and her advanced team. In the event of your death or incapacitation, these orders shall apply to the senior surviving member of the expedition. Okay. So we have inherited, basically, her mission. Let's see, was there anything else in there? Seems like it puts a little sort of thing in the corner if it's a new item. Another rocket. Hey, what's this? Major Tomcat? What is he? A little cat here with a hat and a bandana. <laughs> Perception one. As you get close, you see the cat has a dog tag rather than a collar, which is embossed with the name Tom. Animal Whisperer. <laughs> I wonder if this is just on the lead character or if it looks at my party. Well, I probably have to have this Animal Whisperer for this to work, but we'll, let's see, just see if we can do this. Come on, cat, we'll catch you. He carefully lines up to jump into your arms and then sits back down. Uh, let's see. Mew. Meow. Meow. Well, apparently I can't save the cat. Aw. I guess I need this animal whisperer. Ah, neat. See that? That was pretty seamless. So you just, as soon as you go inside, it 
tears the roof off. Kind of paranoid now about getting hit with a explosive. <clears throat> liquid time. A strange syringe filled with blue liquid. Probably blueberry flavored. What the hell is this? Used to feel like you could kiss the sky. Your mama will be disappointed. Gain plus 3 AP for 36 turns, but suffered 10% evasion for 720 turns afterwards. Drugs. Brain candy. A syringe with some eerie green liquid. May or, not, may or may not be literal liquid candy or liquid brains. Claims to improve your intellect. You know, I don't know if I just kind of... Uh, you know, a prude or not. I don't usually do drugs in these games. I guess they probably would help me, but... Yep. But I think this time maybe I'll just go ahead and do the drugs, you know. <laughs> Why not? Uh, brain candy. Let's see, what is this one? This is the plus five perception. It's wasteland, you know, you gotta... How do I... Can I use it from here? Use item on self, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> There's our conditions. You're seeing possibilities you never knew existed. Maybe that'll help me to see. Glass knucks. Do you really want glass knuckles? Not sure how that would work. Oh, we can get inside this vehicle? There's Jody. They got her? God damn it. Fuck this place. Fuck it. I get to ride around in the tank. During his reign, the Patriarch has striven to protect Colorado from the chaos of the wastes and give it a semblance of pre war American life. Patriarch. <laughs> and the music in this game is really good too. Patriarch. What if this colorful stuff going on? Is that the drugs I'm taking? <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to tell what's game and what what's what's reality. Uh, let's see, Patriarch. Um, do we want to kill this guy? The, he said he was trying to burn down the the jail. Is that the? He's your prisoner. You can have the honors to kill him. <laughs> Don't mind if we do. Uh. Hmm. I don't know. I don't 
know if I just want to shoot the guy cold blood. I think I'll do this second option. Probably won't impress the patriarch, but oh well. If you insist. Yikes. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, this guy, he's a little bit extreme. we're supposed to like this guy or think he's a, a tyrant or what I mean it's kind of obvious with the name like the patriarch <laughs> probably not gonna turn out to be too good of an ally but you know maybe uh, compared to the alternatives let's see give us your supplies and let's go home quite a few options here Let's see. Thank you, Patriarch. We appreciate anything you can do for us. And like a decent, polite sort of response. Uh, we could say, all we want is to complete our vengeance on the Dorseys, but we won't say no to your help. Uh, better than nothing, as long as our deal's still in place. So they kind of scale these from like super polite to, to being a jerk about it. Uh, let's see about the first option. Got a reputation point. Now, introductions. My name is Saul Buchanan. <laughs> what has he got? Home, Some kind of flagpole Saul with a fist on it? This base is your new home. From here, you'll aid my people and, more importantly, do the job I brought you here to do. Now, yes, Joe. Pardon, Matriarch. It's Daisy. An update on the Garden of the Gods? All right. Sorry, Raven. Still putting out fires. Mm -hmm. Doing my best of waiting for you inside. Darius Juan of the Marshals and my old friend Sergei Gratsky. Go see him. Gratsky. Yeah, just a little bit dark, aren't we? Uh I know they said no similarities to reality at the beginning, but you know, you kind of wonder. I need to rest a spell, catch my breath. That all right with you? I think the flag sledgehammer is a bit, <laughs> a bit, uh, what's the phrase? Uh, Think of the on the nose, I think is how they put that. Let's see, how are your injuries? Recovering okay? Are you missing Arizona? Let's see, how are your injuries? Go out and find your footing while I get back on my feet. I've been to Colorado Springs. Okay, let's see. What else are we supposed to do here? Elite enforcers, a gas heater. What is this? An old weather, an old weather-worn pedestal. The inscription is fading and illegible. Looks like it says General William Jackson Palmer. Diligent Joe. Let's talk to Diligent Joe. Pleased to meet you, Rangers. All right, I guess we should just go on inside. Man, get this guy on the slopes. Good to meet you, Rangers. Glad to see some friendly faces. Been rough around here these last few days. Dorsey's attacked us too. Snuck inside Colorado Springs and killed a lot of people. Situation's under control now. Mostly. 
Yeah, looks totally under control. <laughs> uh, what were the Dorseys after? Why are these alarms going off? Yeah, probably deal with the alarms. No idea. Something must have triggered the old security system. The trouble is, there's a bunch of angry robots guarding the computer that shuts them off. This looks like a job. Deal with them is your call. Your base. Your rules. This is my base now? So this place is ours and now it's like they read my mind. Yep. Noisy alarms and all. Courtesy of the patriarch. Cool, I have a base. We can talk more once we get a little peace and quiet. Okay, well clearly I need to get these alarms shut off. Uh, let's see. Kind of have to be careful not to leave your partner behind. Attacking objects. Your squad skills aren't high enough. Sometimes brute force will still work. To break down a door, smack a misbehaving computer. Or forcefully shut down a power generator. Use the attack option or press left control. Let's see. So nobody's got pick locks. So I'm thinking I'll probably just look for a key rather than a... Can I get in there? Nope, can't get past that debris. Maybe I can go through this door. Nope. Alright, so I might have to break through it. And I can open this door. Huh? <laughs> it's a robot. Oh, that brings back some memories, that voice. Gif or the rebation or you will be pathified. <laughs> I wonder if this is what Siri hears when we try to talk to her. Kick ass. We're the Arizona Rangers, the successor unit of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. We are government representatives. Try that. This guy reminds me of the Amiga computer and that Say, little Say tool. I used to love feeding that thing uh, naughty words. You know, it's something that I think we probably all did at some point. Servitors. Okay, so I guess we got out of that combat. You always kind of have mixed feelings about getting out of a combat, you know. You kind of want to fight. Radio static, so I guess that... Man, I need to get lockpicking pronto. Let's see, you got another lighter. Well, that's something I need to... I need to see if there's a way to sell my stuff. Getting quite a bit of loot here. Let's see more stuff. At least I'm getting lots of ammo. Yeah, that's another reason I don't usually like to play on the harder difficulty levels because they starve you for amp. They love to starve you for ammo. Oh, what's this? Ah, look, here's a weapon mod. Okay, I want to definitely put that on. Got another grenade too. Yeah. In the Wasteland, you'll find both weapon and armor mods. Installing it will improve any equipment it's attached to, but once installed, they cannot be removed. Oh. <laughs> oh, you know, why can't you remove it? You put it on, just take it off. Ah, jeez. I mean, you're just taping it or screwing it on, right? Are you crazy gluing it? Different mods, blah, blah, blah. It's all about balance, man. It's about balance. Da, da, da. Get all this information. Field stripping. If you have a very low barter skill, you can sometimes get a better price from merchants for the parts than for the weapon itself. Field stripping also has a chance to grant weapon mods if you have the scrounger's touch perk. 
You know, I feel like I'm in good hands with these designers. You know, I feel like they have thought about everything. The question is, do I want to use this weapon mod now on these weapons or wait? Uh, I don't even know. Can you use it? What is it? it? Requires assault rifle, handgun, heavy machine gun, submachine. Well, I guess you could use it. Can I use it on her weapon? Well, let's just use it on this. We're just kind of trying stuff out, right? That gives her a... If you put it on... Oh, cancel. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, let me try that again. So... Critical chance is 8%. It's 11%. You know, I kind of feel like that's a decent thing to do because the shotgun should benefit quite nicely from a probably already does pretty good critical damage okay make sure I got them both selected oh there's another container oh some more stuff chest armor, merc helmet rad tech helmet requires 4 strength and a 10% hit chance <laughs> Okay, let's see. Get this armor on. Oh, that's got a... Oh, neat. Yeah, maybe I'll give... Let her keep the hat and give my student the... Uh, the Merc helmet. That's another critical chance boost on that. Pretty nice. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and quick save all right that the whole thing's a container this terminal is dusty and old but when you press the power button it flickers to life would you like to play a game security alert flashes across the display command access only eventually you query the machine for commands identity it replies, command empty. Designate new command. Yes, here we go. Install yourself as command. Definitely. The camera flashes above the monitor and terrible photos of your faces slowly appear on the screen line by line. Making a Facebook profile. Command recognized. Security alert canceled. Awesome. Unlocked an achievement too. The new law. Well done, Rangers. Good to see the place up front. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. The reason you're here. As you may know, I have a daughter and two sons. Liberty, <laughs> Valor, and Victor. Two of them conspired against me, and the third blackens the Buchanan name. Ugh. Consequently, I banished him. Really clever guys. They've been skulking in the shadows ever since. But lately there's been rumors that I'm on my last legs. Lies, of course. But apparently my dear children believe them. They started making plans. You know, his voice sounds familiar to me. I'm pretty sure I've heard him in other games. Be curious to look at the uh, the credits. So you're looking for protection when they attack. Are you asking us to become assassins? So you need us to round them up. You want us to act as emissaries to your children, make peace? Oh, what well, should we? I'm not sure what to say here. So you can I get a repeat? Looks like it won't go back. Um, uh, let's try, uh, let's try the last option, I guess. <laughs> Those brats would sooner tame a scorpion. Hmm? I'm not worried about my children defeating me, Rangers. They won't. Not even Liberty. What worries me is the destruction they'll wreak as they fail. They'll tear my land and my people to shreds. 
They'll burn everything I've accomplished to ash. <laughs> They're gonna tear this to shreds, wow. That's why they have to stop before they can start. That's why you, Rangers, have to find them and bring them home to me ASAP. Hmm. So if I had to guess, I'm gonna guess that these children might turn out to be people that we would rather be allied with than the Patriarch. When I say bring them home, I mean bring them home alive. They're my blood. Kill them and we'll have a problem. They're my blood. I make myself clear. What if taking your kids alive was impossible? <laughs> the Kippers. Liberties raise an army against me somewhere out on the eastern plains. Valor. Valor's under the protection of the Gippers in Denver. That's who I want. That's where I want to go. So you'll need more background on the kids. We have a few things we'd like to ask. Thank you for the briefing. Trouble rousing some Dorseys who have been holed up in the Garden of the Gods since their raid fell apart. Why don't you go give her a hand? Cornered rats! Rangers can do. I hope those are literal, literally some rats over there. Yeah, I was just looking through that book and there are some several different kinds of rats in the Wasteland uh, series. I don't know about this particular game. Sir, yes, sir! Dorsey's? This will be a pleasure. <laughs> you know, the uh, the sad thing is I know some people with the last name of Dorsey. Enjoy yourselves, Rangers. Just don't get killed. I want to return. I imagine they're not, not a fan of the choice of uh, villain in this game. All right. Let's move out. Round up them Dorsey's. Okay, so what do I get to do with this base? Looks like not much. Kind of reminds me a little bit too of uh, Fallout New Vegas. You know, in that game too, it's very. There's no like one faction that's you could say it was just the good guys, right? They're all, yeah, you know, you kind of like this, this, and this, but you don't like this other thing. So you have a new mission. Use J to open the mission log. Uh, mission types. Primary missions progress the main story. Secondary missions are optional side quests. You've just received the primary mission Cornered Rats, so your next step should be paying a visit to Sheriff Daisy in downtown Colorado. Nothing here too far out of the ordinary. These are the rewards there. What is this? A little extra information? Oh, looks like I leveled up yet again. So my only question at this point, I attributes starting at level three, your rangers will earn one attribute point per level. Okay, so from now on, I'll get one of these as well. They always cost always cost one point. They're source of all your vital stats. Want to live longer? Yes. <laughs> Run faster. Shoot straighter. Or hit harder. There's an attribute for that. Oh, cute. Coordination, luck, awareness, strength, speed, intelligence, charisma. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. It looks like they go up. I wonder if they keep going beyond this or is that the, the max? Let's see. Quirk, no quirk. Okay. Coordination. Gives you more action points. And some status effect resistance. Luck gives you more penetration and a bunch of this lucky action stuff. You know, who was that that hated the luck stat so much? Was it was it Chris Avalon or was it the uh, Josh Sawyer? I remember talking to one of those guys and they just really hated this idea of a luck stat. Uh, awareness, hit chance. I, I don't see the problem. 
It's just kind of like that wild card. I guess it's kind of a pain to implement for some reason. Uh, let's see, awareness. Yeah, I could probably use that. Perception plus three. That would probably help me to see those uh, bombs. And she's already got a pretty good... This character has a... And that's one thing I'm not clear on either. Like, do you have to have the character selected for these uh, for this to work, or does it share across party members? Range damage bonus. Um, let's see. Okay, so uh, strength. That's the constitution. Gives you more constitution per level. So it would be a good idea probably to take this earlier. I don't know if that's retroactive or not. But it sounds, if I'm reading this right, it would sit, it sounds to me like if you get this strength, then you get more hit points every time you level. Could be wrong about that. Uh, speed. That gives you combat speed, evasion, and initiative. So that's a good stat. Intelligence is your critical chance, critical damage, critical heals. And you gain one skill points every two intelligence. Every two. Charisma is your force of will, so that leadership range, whatever that is. Strike rate. A charismatic ranger can only strike abilities more often. Okay, so they tied that in with this charisma stat. And you get a better reward bonus. Man, this is killing me. I need to find out if this applies to the party or just to the character. Like, does just this character get a mission reward bonus? I don't know. Okay, well, just for the sake of uh, getting on with it, I'm thinking about raising this character's awareness. Now, let's do her, just with the idea, maybe, that it's shared. And this character, I'm kind of tempted to give a little more strength. Equip items requiring six strength without penalties. But I want her to have a little bit more. I think having more action points would be really nice for her because it takes so many to use her weapons. So let's do that. You know, this is what's fun for me. I don't know how fun it looks, but to me it's just really fun to be thinking about these things. And You know, I don't know if that's necessarily the right choice, but you just try stuff out and, and see how it plays out. and You learn how to sort of min-max your characters the hard way. To me it's the fun way. A lot more fun than just looking at a guide or a, a, you know, a wiki or something. I like to just, even if I mess up, who cares? It's just a game. We're here to have fun. Okay, uh, but anyway, yeah, my other big question is, I don't know if, if I'm going to be getting more party members eventually. You know, maybe I could split some of these skills up amongst them. I just, I have no idea if we're just going to be playing with these two folks the whole time or what. I kind of feel like it's set up for me to have more party members. So I'm just going to kind of operate under that assumption for a little bit longer and not try to uh, mix in all these other skills too much at this point. Again, could be a bad screw-up. We will see. Yep, confirm. And it's not like these skills wouldn't be useful to me, but if I knew that, if I knew that I was just going to be working with these two, I'd probably go ahead and pick some lockpicking and some hacking or whatever else is down there. So it looks like the only thing... That, that lets me install higher level mods... And gives me a, a field stripping scrap. Install armor mods. You know, again, kind of just flying blind with this stuff. But usually, if they start you off with some skills, you're pretty safe sticking with those, I find. You know, matter of fact, maybe we could find that out some. Whoa, where'd my screen go? Okay, seem to have <laughs> seem to have crashed. Uh oh. Okay, well there you go. There's a, just a complete crash. I will uh, stop and get the game back going. Crashed so bad it actually crashed Steam. I had to reload Steam and Wasteland. 
Uh, three, I hope that doesn't happen too much. That, that would be bad. Let's see, it also is trying to, uh, it's ignoring my window settings. And this window position just a certain way. All right, let's see. Hopefully that didn't set me back too far. You know, surely there must be must it, you know I mean, there must be uh, more party members because why would they have like leadership skills and all this stuff? So my guess is we just be patient. And we'll pick up some more party members here, probably in the next mission. So where I would put one. Could be four, maybe five. Surely at least three. Okay, well, don't do that again. Let's see, how far back did it put us? Hey, I see a corpse over there. Where is that? Is there a secret? I We need to finish ex exploring this base. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I gotta redo my attributes again. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see, what did we do with this? Um, she had awareness. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Skills. Boop, boop. Yes, 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 yes. I kind of wish there was a save button down there. It'd be a little bit easier on this part. <laughs> Okay, attributes, yes. And what do we put? Coordination. Close. This doesn't feel right hitting close to save that. Now we'll try to get in the habit of saving. <laughs> okay, so it opened up this stuff for us. Yeah, maybe I'll go ahead and talk to the guy. Sound like he's got some job rangers nice to be able to hear ourselves think again and now that it's quite enough to talk let me reintroduce you to the great sergey greatsky who's going to be helping you with personnel personnel aka squad mates hi again rangers damn sorry about your people but now that you're here we'll do what we can to get you back on your feet and find you some new recruits just like the patriarch promised you and I already got you one of the best. Meet Marcelo Gonzalez, electronics wizard, Perfect. radio technician, and former dispatcher for the marshals. He'll be your radio operator. Howdy, Rangers. Uh, while you were dealing with the alarms, I took the liberty of installing a combat AI in your vehicle. Should help you out. If you want to chat, I'll be in the operations room getting things up and running. Wait, so he's going to be behind the scenes, I guess. I need a... Should be more recruits arriving soon. Ready to tell me how you want to fill out your squad. Oh, this is very XCOM like, isn't it? Speak to Sergeant Gretz Gretzky to hire new rangers for your squad. Your squad can have up to six members. No more than four, though, can be rangers. The other two slots may be filled by companions, such as Marshal Kwan. Companions are unique NPCs who aren't officially rangers but want to help you out all the same. You'll find plenty of companions in your journey through Colorado. So what is this? So I can have up to six. No more than four can be rangers. What does that mean? I guess the other two would just be sort of running around, <laughs> avoiding combat. I don't, don't quite get that. I guess we'll find out. Ready to tell me how you want to fill out your squad. Uh, yeah, I got some questions. Yes. Uh, you two volunteered for this. Combat. Oh, not the question I wanted to ask. Let's see. I guess we'll ask for more info about them. Uh, well. Fair enough. <laughs> well, Sergey won't blow his own horn, so I'll do it for him. He's Colorado's greatest warrior. Fought by the Patriarch's side from the beginning and saved the old man's life about a hundred times. Right, Sergey? 75 tops now let me tell you about mr slick here nobody knows the streets and alleys of colorado springs or the people that live there better than dashing darius Quan. 
The dashing Terry is gone. You're too kind, Sergey. Hey guys. Okay, that's all we got. Okay. What's next? Show us who you've got lined up. My advice is to put together a squad with complementary skills. Nobody can be great at everything. So pick recruits who are good at things your current team isn't. Yep, one step ahead of you there, Sergey. Sergey. Certainly. With folks you meet along the way. Keep that in mind when you're choosing from the recruits I've rounded. You know, this to me just what wasteland. You remember the original game was kinda like that too, with the this concept of the headquarters and you're working with all these different rangers. Instead of just being stuck with the same people the whole game. Let's see, active squad. A player-created character is required in each party. Okay, so we can... We're stuck with those two. I, maybe just one of them? Anyway, let's go ahead and add a new recruit. Whoa! Crap! Launch! This guy looks a little bit like Amos from uh, The Expanse. Really good-looking portraits, portraits here. Yeah, man, whoever did the artwork in this is just really good. Really good style. Okay, we've got to pick one of these, I suppose. Mechanics. Mechanic, small arms, weapon modding. We've already got a weapon modder, so moving on. <laughs> Sneaky shit, small arms, sniper rifles. I kind of feel like I need a brawl or like a melee type. Yeah, here we go. Brawling, survival, hard ass. That would be a good choice. How many do I get? Uh, I don't know if I get everybody all at once. You know, I kind of my my immediate need is really for somebody who can pick locks. Here's one with lock picking, butterfly. She's got melee combat and lock picking. I'm not sure what sneaky shit is. Sneaky shit. You know, butterfly. Level 3 infiltrator. That works. Start off. Oh, I do get another one. Awesome. Do I get this full squad? <laughs> like I get in a candy store here. Okay, well, let's do the... You know, maybe I should look at all the options. So we could create a custom character. Let's see, nerd stuff, automatic weapons, thunder here, automatic, there's one with automatic weapons. Let's see, a sniper, I love the sniper's rifles. Here's one with leadership. <laughs> Toaster repair, weird science, so there's kind of a scientist type, Professor Higgs. You know, why not? You know, I think is since uh, Dusty here is a teacher, she'd probably enjoy working with the, this other academic. Okay, so we got a small arms, we got our melee down. I feel like I need somebody with a... Okay, so that's our limit. Maximum of four player-created rangers in your squad. You know, the only thing is that I don't like about this guy, I mean, I've already got the small arms covered, but I guess I'll try to make this work. I, I'd like to have somebody with a sniper rifle. Maybe I'm thinking too much about uh, XCOM, though, so let's just go with this. Listen, I can get you all the fighting troops you need, but if you need any talented people in your travels, don't hesitate to sign them up. Pretty cool. Now that we've got that sorted, like that idea. Let's talk about the next steps. Now, you're the boss here. So I'm not going to tell you what to do, but getting this place up and running wouldn't be a bad place to start. That means surveying the base and finding specialists to staff it. You know, sir, remember that first Wasteland game and the, like your headquarters with a little spinny satellite? I want a little spinny satellite. I can survey the base. We should get this place staffed up. Patriarch said that Sheriff Daisy needs our help. See, I mean, they really nailed it so far. I mean, I'm totally into this. I'm like, yeah, I want to do that, but I want to do that. I want to do that. Uh, I want to do everything. <laughs> like, none of this sounds boring to me. Really good. You know, I, I kind of feel like I want to survey this base first. Perfect. That'll give you a 
chance to see if any of the junk around here is worth keeping before I toss it all out. After that, you might want to give Sheriff Daisy a hand. If you impress her, maybe she'll hook you up with some specialists for the base. It's really, it feels like they've taken the Wasteland 2 and sort of combined it with XCOM, like the best parts of each game. A little bit of Fallout New Vegas. You want to go to Denver or Aspen? Just hop back in your car and go out the way you came in. Yeah, I mean, they just... So far, so good. I'm not sure about how long we want to go. Let's try to do, like, the first leg of it, maybe. We'll... Let's wrap up here at the base. We'll go check out the Sheriff Daisy mission, and that'd probably be a pretty good spot to... to call it. I'm not going to quit right now, though, that's for sure. Saying so, but I'm guessing you folks are going to need as much help in the field as you will here in HQ. So, what if I join your squad? At least until you find your feet. I guess this has given me what. Uh, let me know what this uh, these companions will be like. Thanks. We could use the help. Great. <coughs> at your disposal. So I got a curious how this will work. Companions. You recruited your first companion. Companions are a unique kind of squad member. Unlike the rangers you create, companions are pre-made characters that have their own personality and agenda. Piss them off and they could leave you high and dry. Alright, so basically NPCs. You can have up to six characters in your squad. Uh, up to four of them can be ranger recruits, leaving at least two slots open for companions. There's no reason not to take them along. Provided you can maintain their loyalty. Are they going to get hit all the time in combat, though? That's the thing that's usually a problematic about these guys. If I don't have contr direct control over them. Do I, do I get to control his inventory? Huh. So that'll be a little bit tricky. Let's see. Go ahead and put her points in lock picking. Sneaky shit. Disarm alarms, evade detection, spot hidden objects. Yes, yes, yes. Like, you know, I guess four is a pretty good number. Now, what does she need? Speed, intelligence, evasion, initiative. Probably. <laughs> Luck would probably come in pretty handy. Yeah, let's just. Tap that awareness a little bit. <clears throat> I feel like anybody picking locks and looking for stuff should be should have a high uh, awareness. And this is my uh, see trooper. His skills are small arms, toaster repair, toaster expert, weird science. I'll go ahead and plug those in. You know, toaster repair in some of the other games came in really handy. Yeah, he gets a lot of skill points, too. I guess we'll go ahead and pop up his uh, small arms and his weird science. Might want to scroll down here and take a look at some of this stuff. Lock picking, survival, nerd stuff, hack computers, hack robots. You know, I could give him a couple points in that instead of uh, some of this stuff. Let's see, can I undo it? Ah, uh, all right. So let's do the toaster, the weird science, and give him a point in uh, nerd stuff. Still got three points left. Hmm. Nobody's got any bartering. Sell value, 50%. Buy cost. Let's see if anybody else has that before I go put points into it. Skills. Okay, barter. Nope. You know, I don't think anybody's got it, right? Because it'd be up here. Exactly. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a point of that. And, uh... If nobody has first aid, maybe I'll... 
give him a first aid point. Go ahead and do two points worth of that. I'll probably need it. Yes. And go ahead and just keep pumping up that intellect. Yes. So this will be interesting. I don't know if I like that 10% hit on their hit chance. That <laughs> sounds pretty grievous. So I guess I don't have anything else to... He can use that. Right, okay, that's good. Now let's see, this guy, do I need to give him stuff? I don't... I have a snow. I have a yellow snowball. I got a feeling like I'm not gonna... Incapacitate injuries. Give her the smoke grenade. If the NPC, he might just uh, be throwing, lobbing grenades and stuff all the time, so you might want to not give him the uh, <laughs> that option until you're seeing how it works. All right, weapons. Um, she has melee combat. Good. So she's got this hunting knife worth forty dollars. So we're just going to very crudely give her one that's uh, worth more money. Blade of Winter is one hundred and ten. That's worth one hundred and thirty-five dollars. So that's my most expensive weapon, the neat capper. Does it have any? Okay, she's got a hammer. Give her that bladed weapon as a backup. So she'll be a melee character. So we definitely want to give her some armor. So I'll go ahead and give a... So that's plus four. Okay, I'll go ahead and give her some pants. Right, and then we got our professor here. He is into small arms. He's got this laser pistol. That's probably about as good as he's going to get. Maybe give him a pistol for backup. And this guy, do we want to give him stuff? I don't know. This will probably be a, a guy that will stick around for a while, but I'll just let him have his default stuff for now. All right, having fun. Yeah, there's our Patriarch's Marshals fame. It's a reputation system. And let's see, affected each weapon. Sometimes with these, if you get enough reputation, you also get special abilities or special perks and things. I would assume it's kind of similar here. Well, we haven't even gotten into these perks yet. There's so much to do. <laughs> oh, there we go. Let's go back in here and try our lock picking. I want to see if it will automatically switch to the character with the uh, highest lock picking skill. Welcome to your communications hub, Rangers. The Patriarch was good enough to let me use my own gear, and I have my high frequency radio equipment all set up. It's basically radar. From here on out, I will be your voice in the wind. You can contact Ranger H. Voice in the wind. Through your radio, and I'll reach out as needed. When there's a rest to be made under your authority, just radio them into me. Pleasure, sir. I will be your voice in the wind. Tell me about your radio equipment. Yeah, that's what I want to learn about. Uh, what do you think about the Patriarch? How do you feel about being part of the Rangers? Da, 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 da. Goodbye. Anytime. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, awesome. So it just automatically switches to the right character. Good stuff. That's the old journal lore book. Lore book. Let's see, this journal has a plastic holographic cover featuring a jet that banks and turns depending on the angle you look at it. On the inside of the cover is written Journal of Alley Blue. Empty cans of Aquanet. No bad air. No bad hair, just bad air. Okay, that's cool. You know, not really seeing anything I don't like about this game so far. Uh, 
burn book. You know, it's almost like somebody was watching my match chats and like picked up on all the stuff I hate about other games and they <laughs> like fixed it. That is good stuff. Oh, look, I even like the way that kind of colorizes. Okay, let's see. Oh, what is this? Rusted slicer dicer. Heat sink lunchbox. You know one thing, uh, there's got to be a way to barter. Somebody must sell stuff, right? Rangers, good to see you. I don't see like a bartering option. I'll be here. Must be certain vendors or something that I'll run into later. Another computer terminal. Examine most recent activity logs. Recall service elevator platform. Most of the logs appear to have been destroyed. A loud grinding emanates from the huge trap door near the garage's entrance. The smell of rusted metal sparking fills the room. A servitor drone has been issued a repair order. Interesting. Locker. Here's another tape. The automated the automated chauffeur. Melted capacitor, more junk. Tired of gridlock, sick of dodging reckless drivers, fed up with paying a fortune to shady mechanics that never actually fix your car. Yes. Now that you mention it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I just tested it out, too, so you could be listening to that as you continue on doing stuff. Again, just a little things that just make sense, right? You don't want to just sit there not playing uh, when you could be list just listening and going on about your business. So right, well, I like that. Let's see. Repair kit. Quick slot item. Used to repair vehicles and robots. Oh, somebody's uh, down there. The corpse of a young woman lies at your feet, her body contorted at an unnatural angle. Judging by the smell, she's been here for a while. Ugh. She tried to determine how she died using first aid. The body's unnatural position suggests some kind of seizure and there are signs of discoloration, indicative of heart failure. A heavy metal spanner. Spanner? <laughs> it's so British. Grip tightly in her right hand. The metal is discolored and scorch marks blacken her fingertips. Looks like it looks to you like a textbook case of electrocution. Hint, hint. The woman is wearing a patchwork jumpsuit and a leather tool belt. Her pockets are crammed with fuses, wire, and bits of circuit boards. Looks like this wastelander made her living by scavenging and repairing electronics. Okay, so we know that she got electrocuted. That's kind of a clue to save the game. Alright, let's take a look here at this rusted slicer dicer in the room. This enormous spider-like robot is in bad shape. It twitches in a puddle of its own fluids, its casing dented and riddled with bullet holes. Judging by the scrape marks on the floor, it looks like someone dragged it into the garage from somewhere else. So we need uh, mechanics to work on this, which we don't have. I wonder if I could go like recruit another uh, ranger quick, 
beef up the mechanics, come back here, or if I'm uh, obligated to keep these folks. Slicer Dicer, pre-apocalypse military robot. Upon closer inspection, you note that some of the bullet holes have been patched. Revealing its wiring. So I guess if I had a high enough mechanic score, I could repair that. Maybe it would uh, protect my base a little bit. Let's go ahead and move on. I've got a little bit more to explore here in the space. What a stink. Ugh. Somebody's been using this med bay for more. I'm gonna take an ocean bleach to get it ready for custom. The desiccated husk of a man is a little more than a skeleton covered in papery skin. Looks like a simple case of starvation and dehydration. Dehydration, but Dot, dot, dot. The corpse's ankles and wrists show some scarring as if he was chained up for a while. So some type of uh, prison, maybe. Leathery corpse is missing several of his digits and facial features. Exposure to extreme cold took this person's missing extremities. Open wounds across his back indicate that he was whipped to death. So somebody's been torturing prisoners, looks like. Pile of corpses. Died in a variety of ways, most of them violent. Bullet holes, cut throat, manacles. So I hope it wasn't the Patriarch doing this. We had definitely teamed up with the wrong guy. I'm guessing we'll be able to go up and ask them later. So we can't get through their garage yet. Alright. Maybe we'll find a key to the garage here somewhere. Another door to the... Or the basement, I guess. Trap detected. Okay, we can look at all this machine. If we can get it all running, this will be a good spot. Trap disarmed. Good, good, good. Okay. Trash. <laughs> fried. I got a status report or a status condition called fried. Whoa, Ugh, man, slow down. You're really harshing me here. Evasion, negative 10%. Oh, that's from my, my drugs. Displaying information about the basis system. All seems normal. Massive data wipe from several decades ago. Alright. It's pretty fun. Even just exploring this base is fun. I mean, it's clearly somebody went to a lot of trouble. Oh, I need... I don't quite have enough, uh... Let's see, is there any way... I can't get to that without setting off that trip wire. You know, it looks like there's a computer or something there. That's kind of weird. It doesn't look like I can click on that. Okay, I don't want to blow up, so let's just move on. I think I've searched that. Let's move on over here. There were some rooms over in the right side here. Oh, quite a bit to explore. Pretty grand in here. Maybe you can make it your trophy hall or museum or a handball court. You found a creepy doll. <laughs> Oh wow, creepy dolls are dolls that are creepy. Well, go figure. But they also grant powerful party-wide bonuses. Simply collecting them will benefit you for the rest of the game. The archive. Creepy dolls aren't found in your inventory. 
Instead, find them as well as any discovered cassette tapes and tutorials in your archive menu. You know, I'm hearing something that's like... Uh, explosive damage bonus 5%. Uh, guys, there is a... Something's up there. What is that? Razorback. Okay, let's do a little bit of... We can ambush him? Where is that thing? I hear it. Target blocked. Whoa, what was that? Seizing initiative. Once you've been spotted by an enemy, each ranger in your squad has a chance to take the first combat turn with a higher initiative stat, increasing that chance. To get a higher initiative, you can increase your speed, attribute, and sneaky shit skill. Okay, whose turn is it? Oh, it's so only a couple of guys can go. Alright, Marie is here with her. Let's do the shotgun. Let's see, 83% chance to hit it. It's gonna cost her. This only takes, she's got two shots with this. Let's move here. And then let's take the shot. Boom! Is there more? Okay, uh, I don't see anything else. So you set up an attack that will trigger on the enemy's next turn. Let's try that. Must be another one here somewhere. Marshal Kwan. Oh, so I... I can control him. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's see, puncturing shot, center mass. Do the ambush as well. Let's see. It's like spinning at me. There goes the ambush. Perfect. <laughs> Should I use my rocket launcher? <laughs> Probably not a rocket launcher for this. Let's see. She should only a 25% chance to hit? Why? Let's see. Kneel down, maybe. There we go. All right, that was pretty cool. So I guess with the, I, I, I'm glad that I can control Marshal Kwan too. That is cool. That's exactly how I would have done it. That's some Colorado dollars, Patriarch's official currency. His face is on the front of every bill. Of course it is. Crusty nose ring? You keep telling yourself the green bits are just corrosion. <laughs> Yikes. You know, I don't think I would want to uh, to wear that. You know, so it does look like it automatically reloads. I don't know why I didn't before. Maybe I didn't have enough ammo. A fallen billboard. Who put it here? The power button on the machine resists your press, seemingly rusted in place. It makes a sandy crunch as it finally gives way. The scream comes to life with a sad beep. Raid failure. <laughs> Corruption detected across multiple sensors. Recovery complete. View recovered logs. Now you see in a lesser game, they would be like... <laughs> <laughs> you know, three pages worth of that. Uh, this is short, sweet, you know, just enough. There's enough there to give you a nice bit of flavor, you know, but not make you feel like you're reading instead of playing. Let's see, examine the personnel logs. Uh, there are fewer logs than you'd expect for a base of this size. Many have suffered data corruption and are unrecoverable, but you find a few that are legible. <laughs> Nerd stuff. Colonel Fourche. The world ended yesterday. Our missile defense system saved Colorado Springs 
But Denver is gone and we can't make contact. Discipline will keep my men in line. We've only got a few days until the civilians panic. Let's see. Read the old security logs. Need a computer expert. So I guess this is just letting us know like what happened. Try to recover some of the security logs. Partial burst, transcript follows. Let's see. Every one of us here joined the army to protect the people of the U.S. And even if the U.S. is no more, we intend to continue to protect you. All right. Let's see. So some of these logs are, I guess, secret, and I've managed to hack into them. Detect intruder, intruder. So, yeah, you can see how the robots are getting more and more corrupt over time. Data errors. <laughs> Rebel what? Okay, step away from that. Well, if you wanted to, you could really read all about it. Or you could just move on. Some more. Looks like those plastic Hot Wheels are going to be a common item. Now let's, yeah, there we go, scoot around there. More ammo. Good, good. Let's see. Treasures here and there. Yeah, cigarette butt. Yeah. Okay. There's some kind of mess hall down there. The mess hall. Better get this up and running pronto. Keeping your people well fed is probably. Please, don't uh -oh. Dale Hackett. This woman is gaunt, her clothes ragged. She is surrounded by a group of bedraggled vagrants who watch you with fear and mistrust. And we're just like we got our clothes from Marshalls. We're the Rangers. Who are you? I'm Del Hackett, and I, uh, I speak for these people. We've been living here for months, and we've got nowhere to go. Please, will you let us stay? Bad idea. I've been in their shoes, but this is a military base. If we have squatters everywhere, it'll be hard to keep discipline. Your recruits won't like it either. Squatters. The Patriarch's people don't care about people like us. But you're not beholden to them. Huh, what to do? You set off the security system. Can't you go live in the city? I guess I'll have to go. Of course. That's what I knew you'd say. <laughs> Wastelander refugees reputation negative five. I feel like a jerk, but it's the hard decisions. Customize appearance, hair, helmet, jacket. Hmm? What is this all about? You just wear whatever you want. Let's see, what else is in here? Container. Another tape. <laughs> You're probably going to rub it in. I can't do this anymore. 
Yeah. Uh, hey, here's a repair toaster. <laughs> ah, we get to finally try out this toaster repair feature. Alright. Tarjan token. A brass token inscribed with a scowling face and the name Tarjan. Should probably mean something to me. Come on, I'm racking my brain. I know it's like tickling my synapses. Let's see. This official badge proves you have mastered the ancient art of those to repair. It looks like this game is not afraid to go dark. Tarjan. So let's see. I wish there was a way I could just look for you utility items here. Yeah, I'll just give her the AA badge. Why not? So what's the deal with this food? The table, the food on these tables is cold and partially eaten but not rotten. It's clear someone recently fled mid-meal. Okay, get through there. I hear some of those dogs. Pigs. Oh, I can't pick the lock. Man, there's a lot in this base. I'm glad I surveyed this. A pale, real thin man with matted hair and fraying faded clothes. The prisoner. I am not a number. I am a free man. Dude. We're the new landlords. We're in charge here now. We're the rangers. We came here from Arizona to help the patriarch. The Rangers help people. We're here to help Colorado. <laughs> Sorry, that's top secret. I'll do the second one, I guess. That's cool. Helping's good. I like it. Helping. Uh, are there like four of you here? That's not something you need to know. Yeah, no more questions. How about some answers? Yeah. Like who locked this guy up? What's he doing here? What's your name? How long have you been in here? And <laughs> kill the prisoner. See, why are you in there? Yes. Not. Yeah. Why were you put in there? Nope. Real bummer. So I don't know. How much do we care about this guy? Just let him out or what? How long have you been in there? Couldn't tell you, man. Couldn't tell you. <laughs> What's this little pile of stuff that's glowing behind him? Okay. Somebody must have been giving him water and food, huh? Yeah, how you survive? You know, man, I, uh, I got everything I need in here to keep on. Little, uh, little crack in the ceiling over there drips with water. So I just gotta uh, lay the wall thirsty. And, uh, you know what they say about a dark, damp space? 
Based on an actual employee of an exile. Uh, okay. <laughs> Do we want to let him out? Doesn't sound like sound like he's doing pretty good in there. Been living. Be leaving now. You got your mushrooms, you got your wall. God, some people are just never satisfied. These are the mushrooms. <laughs> is that what that is? <laughs> oh, fine. Really? Oh man, yeah, man. You're just the tops, the beanies. I owe you big time. Calm down. Thanks so much. There's a key. Brigmaster key. Interesting. I hear like a. I think one of those war Razorbacks, I think they're called. Here's a computer. Let's see. The terminal displays information about the basis system. Da -da -da -da. Admin. Password admin. <laughs> That's a good password. Credentials rejected. Okay, somebody was trying to hack it, I'm guessing this guy. The body of a young man lies twisted on the floor. He wears shabby clothes. He's been dead long enough for the body to go cold. But not long enough to rot. Got a high enough perception score to search him. His shoes have holes in their soles. The man was carrying nothing but the clothes he wore in his body. In one of his pockets you find a half-eaten, sweet-selling mushroom. He's commenting on the dead guy. Subtle. Nice. Let's see. What did I get? A mushroom? What's the deal with a mushroom? Hmm. Sweet smelling mushroom. <laughs> Try it and see. Could be harmless. Could be toxic. Eh, go ahead. Eat it. What could possibly go wrong? dogs back there somewhere. Is there anything else to do in here? You know, I guess I'll let this guy out. I should probably save the game first. Got a bad feeling about this. Yeah. <laughs> do we really want... How bad do we want these mushrooms that have been self-fertilized by that dude? Ugh, savory smelling mushroom. Could be... Ugh. Removes bleeding, removes poison, removes drugs. Oh, the things I do... I think we might be able to get a little more treasure. You know, if I ever go to Brian Fargo's house, remind me, don't eat the mushrooms. Oh. Okay. I see some dogs out there. Looks like they're outside. Not sure how to get to... 
get outside. Let's see, I'm kind of getting disoriented here. Okay, that's not it. Okay, so where have I been in here yet? Yeah, that's the mess hall. I've been up there. Been in here. So how do I get here? That's where I need to go, I think. See how good the pathfinding is. Let's see, I haven't. Let's see, Colorado, Kodiak. There's still some stuff I haven't explored in here. I love this, just exploring a big map. There's a dog. Let's see, can I talk to the dog? Doesn't appear so. There's a cyborg chicken! Okay, <laughs> what is that? Metal plated electronics have been implanted in this chicken's body. It looks up at you, a sense of loneliness in its eyes. You don't see any other chickens around. Cluck? The chicken appears to be embroiled in a fight with a brick. Uh oh. Some more junk. What is this? all kinds of stuff around here. There's a long mag weapon mod. Reload less with more ammo in the mag. Well, that sounds useful. I wonder if I could put that on the shotgun. Yeah. Pretty cool. I think that's worth a save. What's the deal with these dogs? I guess I need that animal whisperer skill to talk to them. There's some more buried items. What is that? Junk? Yeah, I see some dogs, but again, I don't think I can interact with them. But it's pretty funny, or pretty fun that you could just walk around and find like hidden stuff. Gives you a good reason to fully explore. Okay, gotta be. Armor crate. Oh! Damn. Didn't spot that trap. Trip wire. Okay, let's go ahead and use your medical hypo. Yep, so those are limited. For some reason before I was thinking you could just keep popping those. Oh, did I, do I not have any more? Doesn't look like I've got any more. Yikes. So I got some... I have to have the character with first aid to do it, I suppose. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, that's something to... That's not good. Need to get some more. Should I give her instead? Maybe the uh, used to restore 50% con. Repair vehicles and robots. Uh, I guess I'll give her the uh, snowball. So at least we got some armor. Plus four armor. These stupid helmets. I thought it said those, uh... Oh, interesting. So she... Oh, I guess if you have the, the right strength... <laughs> it's ugly, but... I guess if your strength is high enough, you don't have to take that penalty. That's good to know. <laughs> Still ugly, though. Let's see, this does a lot of good stuff for me. Go ahead and give that to her. 
All right, starting to get the hang of this, I feel. Let's see, anything in that room? It just goes out. There's something over there. Snow pile. Gather snowballs? Pee on the snow pile, walk away. You know what? Pee on it. Ugh. <laughs> the yellow thin snow can make for some seriously gross snowballs. Man. Well, if you ever wanted to make your own uh, yellow snowballs, this is the game for you. Something else. Hot Wheels car. Yeah, they've really hidden a lot of stuff around. I wonder what's up with that chicken. Probably have to have high nerd skill to... Some money and a Casio watch. Thundering strike. You know, I feel like there should be like a search mode or a careful mode. I guess you just have to be careful where you click. Okay, have we seen everything? Why is that flashing? There's our private Jody. I could talk to her again. I should be able to recruit her. Nice and all. Kind of majestic with all the mountains and wild weather, but it's hard to enjoy it when I know everybody back home is dying by inches. We gotta finish up our business with the patriarch and get the supplies he sorry. I just want to get this done and get back to him. Later. Later. Bye. Okay, we got something to do here in the war room. This eye. War room. Let's see. Mission log. Cornered rats. Stalked to Sheriff Daisy. Full house. Recruit personnel. Brig jailer. A med bay doctor. An army quartermaster. And a garage mechanic. Um. Find some recruits. I don't know why it's flashing this. For that. Huh. Let's see, I think we need to get in this. What in the world? It says this. I guess that's just my base. Okay, let's try to get to this. Have I? Now, wait a minute, look. <laughs> Have I been in this room? Yeah. Yeah, of course. It, it keeps... Sorry, I'm just not quite clear. Looks like there's an area I haven't explored, but I think that just goes back outside, right? Just to be sure. No, that's the wrong... Not that way, the other way. The other left! And go to that point. Yeah, look. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I can't get in there yet. Okay. So I gotta get my lock picking up and then we can go check that out. 
For now, though, let's get into this Kodiak. And let's go see what Sheriff Daisy's all about. Leave her into your headquarters. Load into the car. Take the footpath down to downtown Colorado Springs. Huh. I'll take the car. So I guess this will be some kind of world map transition. Almost our turrets are powered by a generator. Finding and destroying or deactivating the generator is often much easier than destroying the turret itself. Good to know. And even the loading screens look good in this game. Not too not too long of loads either. That's you know, pretty good. World map intro. The world map allows you to traverse Colorado in your trusty Kodiak. As you explore, you'll find cities and settlements that need your help, as well as experience random encounters. You've got a tip on a new location. When you hear about a new place to explore, be marked on your map screen with a star. It's up to you to find a safe path there. If you get stuck out in the snow, you can call Gonzales for a tow by left-clicking on the radio at the top of the screen. All right, what are we dealing with here? Okay. Colorado Springs, Denver. Where are we supposed to be going again? Downtown Colorado Springs. Oh, maybe I should have done the footpath instead. Okay, all right. I like this though. This reminds me of that damnation alley. What's the name of it? I'd always get it confused. Damnation Valley, Damnation Alleys. You know, they're in the big vehicle like this. That movie. Giant Cockroaches. It's a good one. See, before being reduced to ruins in the war, the Academy in Colorado Springs trained officer cadets for the United States Air Force. Well, I mean, one thing, this game is definitely getting me set up quite nicely. Yeah, it's definitely gotten me hooked on the, at least as far as the character development, the combat. Story's good. Settings have been great. There's a cat. Lots of cats. There's a robot chicken. <laughs> Pretty good animations on that cat, too. Alright, let's see. I like we'll explore this area and then we'll That'll be the day. Should give you a pretty good idea whether this game is for you or not. Nico, <laughs> Nico pops, Nico pops. Quick slot item. Smoke to gain 10% critical chance for 36 turns, but suffer 10% suffer a negative 10% hit chance turns afterward. Okay. Smoke, smoke, smoke that cigarette. This here's Market Square. The Arapaho Garage is just outside the city gates. My old friend Doc Parker set up a clinic. Hunter's the best doctor in town. Be a hell of an asset. Sweet. Careful though. The doc is crazy. Best of times. And these are not the best of times. So that's why you have these companions, I guess, so they can fill you in. Mama Cotter. Grizzled and gnarled as an old oak tree. The round little woman scowls at you from under her scarf. Eyes invisible and a face that has more wrinkles than skin. You got business with Mama Cotter? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> do we? Well then, stop wasting my time until you do. Yikes. 
Some pretty interesting characters so far, too. Well, let's see. The Theodoric Curie? Theodoric. Theo for friends. I need to work on these gate hydraulics. It was not time to answer some questions. If you're here to learn about our wall. Wall. It's simply your standard concrete barrier with Tesla styled electrical deterrence. <laughs> An absolute marvel of what could be done. But sufficient for the task of keeping out enemies. Yep, no resemblance. All resemblances to <laughs> actual people and events. Totally coincidental. We had oil to power the generators. You'd see the glorious effect of thousands of volts of electricity arcing across it, deterring would be attackers from approaching. Such a pity. If we had to oil, so they need oil. Who are you? <laughs> I am the humble son of scientists. My mother and father were on a mission to pursue the possibility of cold fusion. Imagine nuclear reactions at room temperatures making it safe for everyone. Sadly, they are gone. My efforts to follow their work has been stymied by immediate dangers. Perhaps one day, I'll have the time to devote to such a monumental achievement again. I wonder if this guy glows in the dark. Thank you for stopping by, and good luck out there. All right. There's a marshal deputy. I'm supposed to meet a sheriff out here, I believe. Use duct tape to fix this. <laughs> <laughs> sheriff Daisy's here somewhere. Yeah, what's a pile of corpses doing over there? The bodies of fallen marshals and citizens have been arranged for pickup and burial. Ah, there's a a vendor. Did you see the Dorseys almost blow up the step? Welcome to Mary Milk Teeth's Morning After Mark. See Morning After Mark? Last night that you wish you I got you covered. Ooh, where is this store? Sober you up, cure your ills, and get you ready to face the new day. Mary Milk Teeth. Or maybe you got banged up in the Dorsey ring. I can help with that too. What do you need? What don't I need? I'll take the store. What's your story? What do you have for sale? Let's trade. Okay. Here you go, children. Salvation is at hand. And look at this barter screen. All right, we do have a sell junk. Nice. Selling junk. So we got 455. So they said that it would be better to strip some of these weapons, right, instead of selling them. I can remember reading that. Let's see, what is this? The merchant doesn't have any. Oh, I guess this is all she's got. Bunch of pills and the stuff that I just sold her. Hmm. I guess I could use some more med hypos. How do I buy this? Buy. Select quantity. Eh, three ought to do it. And let's see, make sure she's got one. She seems to take a lot of the damage. Wait a minute. Well, maybe I can't do it from that screen. Let's try it again. There we go. Perfect. All right. And save that. Oh, there's another vendor. Taiwan. Whoops. I could take care of that. <laughs> Can you still sell us some gear? <laughs> Thank God. You'd be doing me a Thank favor. God. Doing me a Oh, come on, I got explosives, don't I? That's weird. That time it made me click on the character to do it. We just defused it. Really? That's great news. Fifty-seven dollars. I'm back in business. Easy money. Fame increased. Nice. 
Hopefully we'll get a nice I'm sensing a fish theme. You didn't hear this from me, Franz. Franz? There's still forces all around the city waiting to jump innocents such as yourself. Be sure to stock up with me, yeah? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Ocean puns. <laughs> so do you sell fish? Can we see your Sardine. wares? Sardinely. I love a good pun. Well, look at all these weapons. Ah, that's pretty cool looking stuff. Savage Helmet. It's always hard to tell in a game like this whether you're going to find good stuff just around the next bend or should, should you just buy stuff, save the money. You know, I never know what to do. Usually, I should probably figure out what to do about some of these, these guns I don't want. I would do that quick. Probably not the most exciting thing to sit there and watch, but I will just quickly go around here and see. So he's he's got this gun that is <laughs> called the Convincer, and it's worth 140. This one's worth a little bit more, it looks like 155 versus. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. Why don't we just try field stripping one of these things to see what we get out of it? That's just a a blade, right? Yes. Okay. What did that give me? I don't think it said what it what it gave me. Let's try this. Uh, I don't really want to tear up anything that might prove useful. So that's should probably just stop with that for now. I guess it just gave me the scrap. But apparently occasionally you get a weapon mod out of it. Okay, just leave her a B for now. Market Square, vendors, points of interest. Lipinski. Dorsey's. Goodbye. No room for amateurs in this town. You hear? No room. Uh oh. Nightclub. Little Vegas. <laughs> oh, you know we got to check that out. Glowing ooze. Should probably figure out what the button is to quick save. Uh oh, something happened there. Let's see, where is this? Mission log. Talk to Sheriff Daisy at the Marshal Headquarters. Guess I haven't found that yet. Hey, take a look at what these marshals and Dorsey's got on them. Those marshals were colleagues of mine. I'm gonna guess you didn't kill them, but you need to put all those valuables back and walk away. Yes. We got guns and ammo now. We don't take orders from Marshus no more. Yep. Here we go. I was just thinking, you know, it's been a little bit too long. I'm ready to fight. That enemy has armor, which means that it can block some of your incoming damage. 
Unfortunately, all weapons have a penetration stat. If your weapon's penetration is equal to or greater than your enemy's armor, your weapon will deal field damage. Armor penetration! Oh, we're getting mathematical. <laughs> Let's see. Proportion of the amount of damage. 15 Penetration 15 versus armor 10 is 100% damage. Penetration 5 versus 10. 50% damage. Gotcha. Simple enough. What am I up against here? This looks like a job for the mangler. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. And he just... Oh yeah, okay, let's do it. Absolutely. Boom! Bam! <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Oh, I just took them all out, one shot. Let's see, alright. I don't want to use a shotgun, like... Let's see, is that gonna work? Mega lucky mega crit. Man, I am rocking this out of range. Tuck you behind there and take another sh out of range. I guess this pistol just does not have much range. I might be able to. I can't tell what's going on there. It looks like that will not reach. Let's see what. Use the abilities the character has learned. Uh, let's just go ahead and uh, yeah, do the ambush. This guy is the, or she is the, uh, my melee character. I won't be able to do much this turn. Go ahead and sneak her in here. Ooh, the tactics. Professor Higgs. I wonder what kind of range he gets with his weapon. Not really good opportunities for cover here. I guess there's just that one guy left? Maybe put him on Hack Robot. No. Pretty cool ability. Let's see, I'm gonna try ambush as well with this guy. He can't reach either. There we go, 95% chance of hitting. Oh, he did. Yep. Oh, nope. <laughs> we probably don't want to use another rocket. Let's try the machine gun. Doesn't get much movement. Eh, see, out of range. I go ahead and just uh, can't ambush either. Now, oh, geez, what can you do? I want to just leave her out in the open. Uh, maybe she's kind of just screwed. I guess we'll just put her on. Let's just get over here and do nothing. Okay, got it. Is this guy ambushing or is he just standing there? I guess we'll find out. Good. Oh, miss! How does this work with the melee weapons? Out of range. Okay, that looks like that should work. Boom! Nice. I gotta say that rocket launcher is probably my favorite weapon by far. Oh, I got another uh, shotgun. Of course, I'll lose my mods. Might still be worth it. Let's see. So we got this white out, 150. Nah, I think we're better off sticking with what we got. Do get some more armor though. Uh, 
You know, I wonder if this guy might... No, he can't use this. I wonder if he'd be better off with this shotgun than this pistol. Let's see, what's the best weapon he can use? I think I'm going to give him this... I'll give him that shotgun there. All right. Very nice. Ooh. Marksman rifle. 240, another sniper rifle. I've got to get a character with some sniper skills. I think it'd be very useful in this game. Okay, is that... I'm guessing this is not where I need to go. Is that a banjo? What is that? There's Dale Hackett. She'd probably be pissed off at me. Ah, uh, the consequences of my choices. Ranger headquarters. Where is this Marshall's place you're supposed to go to? Is that Ranger HQ? Let's see. Ranger headquarters. Hmm, where is it? Or is that just taking me back to my vehicle? No, I don't want to go there. Garden of the Gods? I'm not quite sure where our friend is we're supposed to be meeting. Jimmy Longhall? Just means I gotta work hard You know shaman. I'm gonna remind you that you said that. Jimmy Longhall. Hey Jimmy. Glad to see you're okay. Dorsey's didn't get this far. Yeah, they didn't bother with us. They were after folks wearing badges like yours. I would have shot those. He's dead if they walked in my garage. I haven't seen your friends before. <laughs> you folks are looking for help with your vehicle. Let's keep thinking about those friends of mine with the last name of Dorsey. What is this place? Looks like you also repair people. What do you sell? Anything for your vehicle. Oh, we can upgrade the vehicle, too. Oh, that's cool. So you have to get as old tools you need to perform repairs. What is that? Vehicle upgrade horn. There's a cannon. So I guess I don't have any cannon on my car right now. Huh. I don't know how vital that's going to be. There's Doc no Parker. Time. Hey, Doc. Quan, hope you won't take offense, but I've got no time for niceties. Dying people take precedence. Understood, Yikes. Bro. shape and I don't have the time or tools to save them count on us what can we do top jack find and return the supplies to Doc Parker at the clinic thank you the things I need most are a suture kit an injury kit and a medic pack got that these folks are literally dying on us so don't fuck around jeez we already got them great then get started on those patients Alright. Good thing I picked up that first aid skill. Okay, did we do the mission? Right, let's see, I guess we have to talk to each one. Unconscious. The man is 
sitting clenched teeth in a puddle of his own blood. Hand pressed to his belly. Something that somebody with this game was like obsessed with intestines coming out of people's guts. Use one of your suture kits on him, you may be able to save his life. Bad, is it? We'll use the kit! Oh, do I have to do it manually? Let's see, who's got the kit? Suture kit. Which one was that? Suture kit. Okay, let's click on him. Boom. Okay, I guess that one's done. Thanks. Would have bled to death without you. Nearly unconscious woman. Her body's a nightmare of bruises and welts, but at least she is breathing. You should use one of your medic packs to save her Stop. life. Why wouldn't they stop? Okay, you gotta make sure I aim this right. To recruit a doctor, we have to demonstrate our medical skills. You keep saying that. This truck's dead as good manners. Let's see. Clearly broken through. One of your injury kits to save his life. Let's see. Injury kit. Which one is that? That? I think it's kind of cool. You know, teach you what this stuff is good for. And do a quest at the same time. There's one left. Oh, where'd we go? Come back. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> uh, there we go. Are we done? What now? They should all pull through. We got a stethoscope. Drop the F bomb repeatedly. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Thank you. You saved her life and mine. Yay. Need anything before I get my stuff together? I don't know. Let's have a look. Go ahead and get patched up for free, I guess. Good luck. All right, excellent. Good, 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 good. All right, so I guess we're done there. Let's see, do we need to loot his medical facility before we go? Make sure you take care of that bike when you get to it. Okay, what is that? Garden of the Gods, Ranger HQ, Machine Shop. Do I need to go here? Somewhere there is Sheriff Daisy. Must be in here. What is that? Oh, it's a museum. Marshal Deputy. Snapping Jimmy Bob. Snapping Jimmy Bob. <laughs> Snapping Jimmy. <laughs> Love the voice work in this.
What's that contraption on the end of your stall? See what this guy has for sale. Oh, so he's got the mods and the Snickers. You know, I guess they decided in this game just to go straight for the real name brands. I mean, they're not Chips Ahoy. They're not doing the usual thing where they, uh, you know, call it something similar to Snickers. Laser sights. Again, though, I'm just never sure if I should just be buying up stuff or just come back for it later. You know, like Fallout would have like the Nuka Cola and you know basically just make up stuff instead of using the actual brand names. I always thought it was kind of silly to do that. I mean, kind of reminds you you're just playing a game. What's going on down here? Karen Sarnet! Hush up now, Josiah. You can't go in there alone. They'll kill you. You think I can't handle myself? I'm putting down worse than these in my time. <laughs> Since when? You've been a shopkeeper all your life. <sighs> Will you help me talk some sense into this old fool? If he goes after those Dorseys, he'll get himself killed. <sighs> Got a shotgun. Uh, you want some help killing Dorseys? We're in. Finally, someone with some spine. I do it all myself, but since you're new in town, I figured you need to show your metal. Josiah, don't you do this. Let these people handle it. They have plenty of experience by the look of them. So I'm guessing this... Old fella's gonna get killed if we take him along. <laughs> Ignore that wife. Let's do it. Here we come, you Dorsey bastards. How much you wanna bet he dies before this is over? Kick ass. You morons are holed up in a clothing store. Put on some new duds and just walk out of town. <coughs> that used their kick ass skill of three. <laughs> the only good Dorsey is a dead Dorsey. Yeah, let's try the clothing one. Now, just one minute, Rangers. You gonna let these bastards free? Not on my watch. I agree. <laughs> Put down those new duds. I hope my other party members aren't too far away from this. Uh, oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Let's see, can we walk these guys over? I wonder how this is going to work. Well, it looks like they can run over there. Good. It looks like a couple of them leveled up, too. know how this battle's gonna go. I might not want to bother. Well, let's see. Can I just move them wherever I want? I guess so. Interesting. I guess maybe once she opens fire, it will start the battle. Let's see. I get... Almost feels like cheating. I don't know what's really happening here. She's in the battle. Okay, he can't. Can he do anything else? Don't. Not enough AP. This is kind of weird. Um, 
negative 30. Why is it so low of a hit chance? Guess he's got some armor? Out of ammo. Okay, he can't do anything else. It's kind of weird. I don't think it expected me to have my party run in like that, but... Oh shit, bleeding. Yikes! Okay, let's see. 69% chance to hit. Make sure we're not using the rocket launcher. Oh, I killed two of them somehow. Not quite. I have to admit, I don't quite have this down yet. Okay, this is the one with the pistol and the shotgun. Should be able just to use this at point blank range. And yeah, it's like it hits my guy sometimes. I thought I had friendly fire off, but maybe. Let's see, required. How do I get rid of this bleeding effect? Injuries, uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one of these is about injury kit? Med hypo? How do I stop the bleeding? Is that a injury kit? I guess it stopped on its own. Okay. One thing you got to be careful of, I guess, is make sure your party's all grouped together. We'll clean up the old store and make it good as new. Pretty soon we'll be selling suits, pants, hats, and all the rest. Finest garments in town. And here, another token of our... Nice! Come on back after we reopen the shop. <laughs> okay. This is kind of weird stuff in this game. There's another bunker buster. All right, hypos, good, good, good. Yes, I helped you defend your store. Now I will rob you. Blind. Some more medical kits, good. You know, I'm noticing that, wow, I still have this fried on me. That is a long, there's probably some perks that Make that a little bit more bearable. Jeez. Oh, what the heck. Let's go ahead and raise up our stuff here. Yeah, very unlucky. Give him another point of luck. Some more skills. So you definitely need that extra point of explosives. Wasn't too impressed with Kick-Ass, to be honest with you, but... I guess it doesn't hurt to have a social skill. Oh, we get a perk! <laughs> perks. Let's see. Learning perks. So there's a lot of nuance to this. I love it. Starting at level 4, your rangers will learn a per perk point every other level. Perk points are used to unlock powerful abilities and passive bonuses. Perks becomes available to you to learn as you upgrade your skills. Okay. So these are tied to the skills, makes sense. So you got non-skill perks, and then we have ones tied to the Oh, this is gonna this would take some really take some digging. So some of these give you more slots. You eat bullets for breakfast. Okay. Might be nice to have the extra quick slot. Let's just look down here. Establish the best opening position you'll come out alive. Gain 0.5 combat speed on the first turn of combat while using big guns. Keep, let's see. You know, it's a little bit, I guess you have to select. No, don't stop! No. I can't, like, 
<laughs> I can't scroll down because as soon as I move it, it... Oh, that's kind of stupid. So I can't quite see what this does, I guess. Is there some way to lock that? Yeah. Okay, that'll work, I guess. That's weird. Let's see. So this gives me a special ability. Terrorizer. Flamethrower attacks engulf targets, reducing their hit chance by 15%. Let's see, this one gives me more explosive resistance, fire resistance, disarming landmines has a 33% chance to drop a grenade. You no longer set off landmines when stepping on them. I think I'll take that one. Okay, she's done. On to her now. Combat speed, evasion, intelligence. You know, all of these are good. Hard to tell what the, would be the best thing. Let's might go for a little more strength just to get more constitution. Yeah. Skills. I think. Which one was it that I don't have at all? Animal Whisperer. Could do that one. Uh, we got Science. I don't think we've got Mechanics on anybody. Yeah, I might give her a point of Mechanics. Do we have Nerd stuff? I don't, I don't think I've got that. Let me just check this guy real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's got weird science nerd stuff. Okay, so he does have nerd stuff. So we don't want to keep... We don't want that again. I think Animal Whisperer sounds like fun, though. And, uh... Let's see, what was it? Mechanics? Where did mechanics go? There it is. Okay. That'll work. And grab a perk for her. Small arms. Shredder shot. If you see an unprotected spot, put a hole in it. Fires a shotgun shell that inflicts bleeding on anyone hit. That sounds cool. Opportunist. Your strike meter charges a bonus 5% with each successful handgun attack. I like shredder shot. Okay, back on mission. <laughs> Talk to the wife again. <laughs> she probably won't be too happy. Huh? Guess she is. Market Square. I was afraid she might be mad at us since we took her uh, husband's side. Okay. Deputy Marshal Pitts. I order the Patriarch. Only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. Let's see, what kind of authorization? From the head of a family for authorization from the Patriarch. Until you have that, the gate stays closed. No, wait, is this where we need to go to see, uh... Broadmoor Heights and the Patriarch's Palace. Okay. Good day. So I don't think we need to go there yet. I'm just looking for the, uh... This daisy. See, Ranger HQ is this way, apparently. Okay. Extra, extra. We got a bit of a situation there. Pile of horses. I guess we gotta get involved in this. Teenage prisoner is gaunt and pale. His hair is greasy. His face angular. With I didn't. I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got a lot, a lot, a lot. How did you get in trouble? See, the Plains gangs chased my mom and me down our land. We lost everything. Heard this was a place of 
God-fearing people and thought they'd do right by us. The people here kept us out in the cold. But we starved to death while they sat inside, warm and fed. The horses came. They gave me some food, some kindness, and asked me to do some vandalism. I figured what was going on. I never killed no one, but I did bust some windows. The marshals caught me. They said I was working with the Dorseys. Magistrate agreed. So, here yep. I am. Mom would have talked me out of it. I should have talked to her first. I always talk to Mom first. <laughs> How about your freedom, Ruthie? Bastards! Is that the Ranger headquarters? Maybe. I think they've done a pretty good job though with the side quests. You got lots of stuff you can do besides just the uh, main mission. There, Sheriff Daisy. The sheriff is a statuesque woman with graying blonde hair and steel in her smile. Must be painful. Now, would you turn away a badass? <laughs> I reckon you already heard all about the Dorsey Way, so I won't bore you with the details. Suffice it to say, we whooped them good. The survivors are holed up in the Garden of the Gods with a bunch of hostages. Okay. Days, I lost a lot of marshals. My boys and girls are tired and beat up. You want to make some fast friends around here? You could go into the garden and speak to those Dorsey's folks. Maybe find out how the hell they got into the city in the first place. Then shoot the everlasting shit out of them. <laughs> and save those I like Sheriff Daisy. Be glad to help. I'm glad to hear. The job's easy enough if you like to use the That I do. Now the Dorsey's hostages are from the fancy side of town. Hundred families folk. Try to get him out of there alive, or I'll never hear the fucking end of it. And please, take young Miss Wesson with you. I need that girl at Miss my Wesson. House. In fact, I'm going to insist. I'm telling Lipinski not to let you into the garden without her. But don't worry. She knows which end of the gun the bullets come out of. Go in there and kick some ass, Rangers. Okay, who is that, Miss Wesson? I wonder if she's in here. Some coffee makers. Uh, I guess we need to find this, wherever this Wesson is. There she is. I guess they expected us to talk to her first. I'm not sure why the sheriff didn't assign me marshals, but well, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, thanks. I am the Miss Wesson she spoke of, Lucia Wesson daughter of Percival Wesson and Maria Reyes of the Hundred Families. As Sheriff Daisy told you, they and some of our neighbors were taken hostage by the Dorseys, and I mean to free them. All of them. So, I am ready when you are. <laughs> you know what the Sheriff said? Let's see, I guess we had to get some information first. No good traitors, that's what they are. Used to be hundred families, like us, but rotten. Backstabbers, every one of them. At least that's what my father says. They rebelled against the Patriarch before I was born, and were driven from the city. I was always told they were dead and gone. It seems I was misinformed. <laughs> She's making a joke. She knows very well that my father taught me to shoot almost before I could walk. And I'm the best shot in this city. You may ask anyone. Everybody knows what I can do. Have you ever killed anyone? Alright, let's At go. Last. Got us a gunslinger. I <laughs> gotta save after picking this <laughs> person up. So now we got to find the... Let's see, what's it called? Garden of the Gods. Where was that at? 
There it is. Okay, see if that will help. Is that going to light up my map? How do I... Hmm. Not quite sure how this map works yet. There we go, Garden of the Gods. Okay. Right there. Yeah, pretty good pathfinding. I'm kind of curious about this nightclub, but explore that later. I want to get in this garden and kick some Dorsey butt. Come on, gang. Okay, somebody here we need to talk to, I guess. Marshal Lipinski. I'd be happy to. Pinsky, I expect you to moderate your language in the presence of yeah. the lady. Yeah. Thank you. I apologize. I meant no disrespect. Best of luck to you and your companions here. I'm liking this Miss Wesson. Any idea how many Dorseys are in there? Nah, who no cares? Okay, no. I think it's like a map transition. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> Get to try out some of these new skills, some of these perks. Gorgeous. Strange rock formations were created during a geological upheaval millions of years ago. This is probably going to be a pretty big deal. Let's see, I don't know, what are we, about two two hours into the game, maybe? Feels like about that. Feels like I just started, you know, it should give you a sign. It really moves. Feels like uh, no time, but it's a chicken. Stop your blubbering. We're the Rangers. Sit tight. We'll take care of the Dorseys. Oh, thank God. I'll call out if I see you. As long as it's safe. Hey! You own the land! Uh-oh. Hey, Enzo! Oh, no. They found me. Yikes. Okay. First things first. Charmed chicken. Animal t <laughs> What? Bog, buck, buck. What a good chicken you are. This is getting kind of weird. What is it with these guys there at that studio and these talking animals? Okay. Yeah, we charmed a chicken. I feel like we've done some good today. Can I only charm one chicken at a time? Garden spire. Leafy green vegetables are happily growing atop this rock spire, worn by solar collectors and other weird devices. That ah, looks pretty cool. Ice block. <laughs> Why would I want that chicken? Uh oh. What is going on here? All right. There's the ambushers. Come on, the whole I want the whole party over here, not just her. Let's see. Who's got the best chance? So I'm supposed to talk to him first to see how that goes. Calm down. Let's talk about this like adults. You saying I'm a child? You're the one who's in for a whooping. Huh? I tried. 
I selected one dialogue option. Oh, hope they don't get to attack me first. Oh, and they get to attack me first. So I guess that means she's bleeding out. Damn, I should have definitely done this better. Okay, who is this? This is my main person. She's just right in the middle. She's not in a good spot at all. I guess I don't have to go with her first. Let's see, I need to get clear for shotgun blast. Huh. Interesting. Let's see. Yeah, go in there and hit that first. Frozen. Okay, and we'll put her on defense. Now this guy, we need to get him in there and patch up. I wonder if they'll get a tax of opportunity. I don't know yet. Let's try it. Okay, it looks like they don't do the tax of opportunity. Try the hypo. Actually, I don't want to do that. Let's see, where's this guy? Yeah, he's supposed to... Am I not clicked on the right guy? Yeah, here we go. Injury kit. Let's go back. Oh, I was clicking on the wrong guy. Alright. Looks like I can't quite get there. Oh, this is not good. So that's another spread weapon, looks like. Ah. Kind of hard to see what's going on. Let's try the kid here, maybe. Still up. Okay, one down. Looks like they're all snapshot. Extremely quick attack. Well, 47% chance. Missed. Okay, so she is bleeding. 12%. Whew, that's a lot. So all that does is restore Khan. I think I'd still have that bleed effect on me, though. Let's just try to back out, maybe. Okay. I got a 56% chance. How far does my rocket launcher go? I can't quite get them both in the f the zone. Let's do the old shotgun for the uh, machine gun, rather. Try 44%. Ah, oh, almost got him. Spec pistol. Down. Ah, two down. Awesome. Let's see, we got one more here. Think she can do it? Oh, not enough AP. Okay, got Professor Higgins here. 84% chance. Boom. Now, let's see. Probably want to move him there. And this guy's got a... Okay, he doesn't have enough movement left to do anything, so let's just get him in undercover. Oh, they might kill her, that's not good. Let's go ahead and use the hypo, I guess. I can see already that medical kits and things like that are going to be vital for this game. Safe and snug. Okay, now... Let's see, want to get 
into position to use a, either a grenade or a shotgun, I'm thinking. Not quite enough reach on that. How about the grenade? <laughs> Perfect. Boom. This place rigged with explosives. Where are the hostages? I think they took everyone to their camp, just past the Gateway Rocks. What about my family, Bell? Last I saw them, they were all right. They were scared and a little banged up, but they were still alive. Well, they did a good job with this. Introduce a character, and already you have a reason to, you know, to care about her. It gives you a little more purpose to your quest. I like the way they, they set these uh, characters up and these quests are really well done. Okay, let's just go ahead and <clears throat> exit out of this. Uh, you know, I think I will go ahead and end it here. I feel like I might be getting in too much into spoiler territory if I continue on past this point. Like I got a pretty good, uh, a pretty good sense of this game. I think I'm probably two or three hours into it. I really like the uh, everything. Really, I don't I haven't found anything I thought was not great about this. The leveling up system is very good. A lot of nuance. It's really gotten me curious about all these different skills. And, and of course the perks and the even the attributes I mean there's lots of ways you can improve your characters make little decisions refinements uh, inventory system is is it's okay I mean they don't give you a whole lot of uh, slots here for equipment but you know some people don't like that anyway uh, you get your two weapon types it feels quite quite a bit different too if you're say using a shotgun versus a pistol you know very much like uh, the uh, previous game I guess in that regard the uh i really like these leveled uh, levels they've set up here the artwork is fantastic music voice work the writing er all the stuff so far now granted i haven't gotten really far into this game you know i have to report back later and let you know what the later game is like uh but i'll just say for my money uh, just this opening bit here is, is great it's just gotten me more and more and more hooked as i've gone along here you know we're already starting to get into some pretty serious uh you know, character development here with uh, Miss Wesson. We have the base to think about, bringing new recruits, allies. Uh, really just phenomenal. If they keep this pace up, you know, this I think is in probably going to be one of the best uh, CRPGs we've seen in a long time. You know, of course, for all I know, it falls off sharply after this, but I really don't think so. Uh, just the attention to detail that I'm seeing here. You know, it's always a good sign when you've got a really nice, uh, smooth interface with a nice theme. Even things like the the little uh, sort of glowing frost effects on the uh, dialogue options all the way down to uh, the sound effects, the flavor text. You know, it's just really impressive. You know, I think it's safe to say that if you like... If you like the Wasteland 2, you'll probably really like this as well. Uh, I'm going to get back in here and play some more. Uh, I want to finish up this uh, this level. And then I might come back and just give you a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> okay, I want to see how this ends. Uh, so I'll play a little bit more, get past this zone, and then come back and report and hopefully avoid some spoilers that way. So, 
<laughs> I played through the entire uh, first mission here. And I gotta say, it was it was really fun, and, and I can see what you know what they're doing here by setting up these characters and the quests in the way that they have, because it really you know how do you however you want to put it, but it makes you uh, interested and in see what what happens, and as you get a little bit more invested in the story this way. Now, even though I usually care more about you know, the uh, upgrades and the leveling and the skill systems and all this. It's uh, pretty neat when you can combine that good tactical uh, combat, good uh, leveling and skills and perks and all of that jazz, along with uh, good characters and uh, a coherent storyline that you can actually follow. Uh, plus, I like all of the uh, the humor in this game. I just got <laughs> I was reading about Fair and uh, Brago's, or Brago's uh, gang. Uh, so that's a lot of fun, all the little uh, insider jokes that you get in these uh, Wasteland games. And so all in all, I'll just uh, wrap up here. A little spoiler alert, I suppose. But... He them kill my family, you let him live? Uh, so the problem is, or I guess some people might see it as a problem, I see it as good storytelling. Now there's a lot, apparently going to be lots of uh, choices, but certainly some at the very beginning. Uh, you can't make everybody happy. You should get to choose A or B. Is it the right thing? Is it the wrong thing? Uh, I guess it depends on how attached you are to the characters in question. You know, kind of like you get in games like uh, Mass Effect, one of my favorites, or the Dragon Age series, uh, where you sort of get invested in the characters and that shapes uh, the way you play the game, the way you role play. Uh, and so essentially what I'm saying is that it's one of those rare games where you get both uh, the sort of storytelling, role-playing aspects of a game like Mass Effect, uh, but also really, really fun combat. I can't say enough about uh, how good that feels. It's very XCOM-ish uh, to me, which to me is, again, a really good thing. You know, you're really thinking about each move. You're weighing uh, the odds. Uh, there's a lot of uh, good design in the interface, so you get pretty good information about <laughs> uh, what's going on in the battlefield and where you might want to move and how you might want to either act or hold your action. So, you know, it does a really good job. You know, I don't really have anything negative uh, to say about this game. Uh, I continue, I'll continue to play this. You know, I could certainly put this on the list of games where you will <laughs> more than likely want to play it all the way through uh, once you're a few hours in. You know, I cert it's kind of hard for me to stop playing just to uh, wrap this video up for you. Uh, so I, all I can say is if you like the... Uh, if you like the earlier Wasteland games, you certainly will. This is a no-brainer. You definitely want to go out and uh, pick this up. If you like XCOM games, I think you'll like this. If you like, uh, if you like the Divinity: Original Sin series, uh, you'd want to give this a good, uh, good look. I think if you like uh, Fallout: New Vegas, and frankly, I, I've yet to meet anybody <laughs> who said that they hated that game. You know, you might it's got some problems, I guess, but most people, the general consensus, I think, is uh, quite rightfully that that game was uh, a masterpiece. And I'm already starting to see uh, hints of that here, you know, even though, again, I'm only a few hours in. Uh, so I haven't played it all the way through, so I can't give you that comprehensive take on the, the storyline yet or anything like that. Uh, but, you know, I kind of think that's part of, partly, uh, you know, the fun of a game like this is finding that, that out for yourself anyway. So I feel comfortable stopping here. Uh, but anyway, I hope that you will... Uh, I hope that you'll pick this game up, give it a try, let me know what you think. Uh, but I want to quit this video so I can get on and play uh, <laughs> uh, play on. Uh, so I'll stop it here and hopefully you enjoyed this and will uh, you know, let me know what you think of the game. And that's all for this week's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll be back soon with the uh, wrap-up. We'll finish up this Wasteland 3 game. I'd also like to uh, know your thoughts, what you'd like to see in future episodes. I've got an interview lining up here uh, with a guy who created one of the very first, uh, well before Ultima Online, uh, commercial uh, online role-playing games. And he's got a lot to say about the history, really the early days of not just uh, MMOs, but the Internet in general. A sort of pre-web uh, 
stuff. I mean, I think I think it'll be really interesting, really fascinating conversation. Uh, so I had that in the pipeline, including a lot of other stuff. But as always, I want to thank you very, very, very much for your support of the show, keeping it all, <laughs> helping me to keep all this together. My God, you know, couldn't do it without you. So thank you so much for that support. Uh, if you want to support the show, uh, you can certainly go to that link in the show notes to the Patreon site. Uh, remember, guys, I asked for a dollar per episode, a little tip of the, a little tip into the tip jar, if you will. Uh, so if you think these videos are worth it, if you like watching these, please go to that link in the show notes. Uh, you could also go to uh, matchat.us and look for the uh, PayPal feeds if you prefer that. Uh, or, you know, tweeting about the show, Facebooking about it, uh, commenting, liking, subscribing, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it, guys. So thank you so much for that. Whew. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to get these uh, new episodes coming out. It's been, I'm not going to lie, pretty rough patch. You know, as you can imagine, we got school started last week and <laughs> very bumpy. I mean, it's just not shaping up too well. Hopefully things will smooth uh, out here pretty quickly, but it's been uh, pretty difficult to maintain sanity. <laughs> you know, my my grasp on it is tenuous at the best of times, so uh, wish me luck, guys. I could really use it. Um, let's see, though. What about that news from the Mad Cave? All right, a couple of uh, fun items here. I usually try to go for three. It's a little bit of a stretch, but I, I found three things I think will be uh, fun for you. Uh, one is called Mork Borg. If you like extreme metal, black metal, uh, that sort of thing, and you like role-playing games, this would be something you would definitely want to check out. It's uh, I think it's from Sweden. Uh, they describe it as a pitch black apocalyptic fantasy RPG about lost souls and fools seeking redemption. Who are you, the tomb raider, uh, the tomb robber with silver glittering between cracked fingernails, or the mystic who would bend the world's heart away from its inevitable end? The world is dying, and you along with it. Uh, so this RPG is so popular. This is a, uh, of course, a t uh, pen and paper t tabletop role-playing game, but it's it's sold out at the moment. It was uh, twenty-eight dollars and sixty-six cents on the Free League website. Uh, so I wasn't able to buy it either, but I will be checking back. Uh, I think it would be worth it, if nothing else, just for the artwork on this. It looks pretty cool. It's getting a lot of uh, reviews and attentions from the a certain segment, a certain sector of the RPG community. So check that out. It's uh, Mork Borg. Other news. Now, this will take you back. Do you remember the Nintendo Game & Watch handhelds? Uh, so if you do remember those, you might find this interesting. I noticed this on Indie Retro News. Somebody has taken the, um, let's see, Cuphead game and made a Game & Watch style game out of it. They're calling it a fan tribute to the 2017 hit game of Cuphead, but designed in a Game & Watch style. So I just thought this was you know, pretty strange and pretty wonderful. Uh, so you can check that out. I'll post a link to this in the show notes. And then uh, finally, as you may know, uh, even though I love uh, heavy metal and electronic music and all that stuff, one of my, probably my favorite, or my first ever really big, you know, uh, fandom was Weird Al Yankovic. You know, I love the guy, love his concerts, love his music. And apparently I'm not alone. Uh, there is a, a podcast you can listen to. I just noticed this, and they have it on NPR. It's by Nathan Rabin. Uh, where he talks about the album Weird Al in 3D. And he talks in there about why uh, this is one of the great albums. It's kind of one of the big underrated albums. But, you know, check out the podcast. But if you like it, you might also want to check out this guy's book. So he's written a book called The Weird Al... <laughs> the book is called Weird Al... Uh, the Weird Accordion to Al. Every Weird Al Yankovic album obsessively analyzed. So this guy wrote a 500-page book all about Weird Al. I can't, I can't wait to get this, <laughs> this book. There's like so much wonderful stuff. You just don't have enough time to process it all. Yeah, but anyway, I thought if you were a Weird Al fan, you probably are if you like this show. Um, you know, check that out. I'll uh, post a, again post a link to the podcast and to the book. 
All right, let's wrap it up with a quotation then. And I was uh, thinking about The Wasteland by T.S. Eliot, and that got me on a little rabbit hole of T.S. Eliot quotations. Of course, the guy's a famous writer, famous critic, famous uh, poet, uh, of course. There's many, many quotes uh, that I could choose from, but I, I thought this one was really good. And it goes something like this. Whatever you think, be sure it is what you think. Whatever you want, be sure that it is what you want. And whatever you feel, be sure that it is what you feel. Well, pretty profound thoughts there from T.S. Eliot. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and see you next time. consists in knowing that you know nothing. That's us, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs>